Welcome everyone to the KDR Tournament Series Main Stage, the Playoffs. Let's go everyone. Welcome back to the biggest Valorant tournament happening in the country. I'm happy to be hosting for you guys today. My name is Laika Mea and with me right now is my co-host. What's up guys? It's Cloud with the peace sign. <laughs> Cloud, ito na. Ito this na yung it. culmination ng lahat ng paghihirap ng mga professional teams sa sumali sa ating tournament. Exactly. So ano bang masasabi natin sa mga previous days na naganap dito sa ating KDR tournament series? Actually, I haven't got the time yesterday to watch all the games. Pero ang narinig ko, Bren is absolutely dominating this tournament. Oo, Bren, has, Bren is the undefeated team. Paulit-ulit na yung na-establish dito sa ating tournament. And even on outside tournaments na patunayan talaga na Bren na sobrang lakas ng team nila. Pero hindi lang naman sila yung team na nagwawagi dito sa ating tournament. We exactly. also have other teams which we have visuals for. Kasi gustong gusto ko rin namang makita nyo kung ano yung itsura ng mga logos ng respective teams ito. So let's show the teams. Ayan. So I think... Pwede muna nating pag-usapan kasi medyo oh. nagkaroon ng error. Pero okay lang yan. Ayan! Yan. Diba... Alam mo, bukod sa napakagandang logo, yung visuals natin itself, Malinis. napakaganda, napakalinis. So, exactly. ito na nga. Of course, we have Bren Esports, the crowd favorite. We've got Atlas. Chimera. Chimera and AG Nefarious. Ayan yung final four natin na umabot sa point na to. Imagine, we went from almost 100 teams, if I'm not mistaken, to the final four umabot na tayo dito sa point na to. So, can you imagine all of the struggles that these teams exactly. have had to go through? Sobrang filtered out na nito and these guys have gone through probably hell. Mm -hmm, exactly. At ngayon, makikita naman natin sa screens natin yung seedings na mangyayari for later. So, we have Brent Esports and AG Nefarious for the first game. Mm -hmm. And later on, it's gonna be Chimera versus Atlas. So, unahin na natin dito sa Bren Esports versus AG Nefarious. Ito rin yung dalawang teams na top 1 and top 2 sa ating mm -hmm. main qualifiers dito sa KDR Tournament Series. So, syempre, these are the top 2 teams that you should really look, look out, out for. for. Yeah. Pero, props na rin kay Chimera at kay Atlas. Hindi talaga kayo aabot sa gantong level na tournament kung wala rin kayong lakas at... Alam mo yun? Mismo. Diba? Hindi yeah. ka aabot dito. Pero before anything else, with everything that we've been through in this tournament, mm -hmm. syempre hindi naman magiging posible ang lahat ng to if it weren't for the help of our sponsors. So huge shout out and huge thanks to Globe at Home. Level up your gaming experience at home with Globe at Home's only plan 2899 with speeds up to 100 Mbps. It comes with free two pieces of Wi-Fi mesh to cover more areas of your home and it's bundled with a three-month subscription to I Want and Amazon Prime Video. And the official PC partner for KDR Tournament Series is Legion Philippines and Intel. Stylish outside, savage inside. Join the Legion Philippines community on Facebook to get the latest product updates and tips on how to maximize your Legion device. And also, guys, don't forget to follow the official Legion Philippines on Facebook and Instagram at Lenovo Legion PH. Of course, the KDR Tournament Series is also powered by XSplit. We've seen our instant replays in the past, and we'll see more of that later on. But of course, XSplit Broadcaster is simple, powerful, and flexible live streaming software. Download and try out the free version now. And of course, this event is brought to you by Valorant PH and Valorant Rising. Yes, of course, de ba? Ang dami nating kasama na pumunta dito sa point na to. Yeah. Yes, of course. So ngayon, magpaproceed na tayo sa first matchup, which again is Bren Esports and AG Nefarious. Yes. Um, and I believe these guys have battled it out yesterday already? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So dito kasi, malalaman natin yung map bans. May uh -huh. tinatawag tayong map bans dito kasi hindi naman pwedeng lahat ng maps gamitin, di ba? Exactly. Mm -mm. Pero yung series natin today, best of three. Oof, best of three. Be fun. So I don't think we're only gonna be seeing one map for these matchups, di ba? Mm -hmm. Siyempre, gusto mong i-mix it up kasi uh -huh. possible na ito yung mas babagay sa team play nyo. Exactly. So unahin na natin dito. Um, Bren, I believe, has... Uh, picked split. Is this correct? Yes! Okay. Ooh, Ang galing iba. mo doon. Ang galing mo doon. I wanted to make sure kasi sanay tayo na banning eh. Pero ngayon, they picked split. Picked split. split. And for AG Nefarious, surprisingly, bind ang pinili nila. Pero ang alam ko, favorite mo yung bind eh. Yeah, actually, favorite. <laughs> yun, 
Masaya kasi yung mga portals dun. I mean, it's fun oh, to go through. Tama naman. Pero dito tayo mapupunta sa ating Haven map. Mm-hmm. So as we know, Haven has three sites. Exactly. A, B, and C. Mm-hmm. May complications din kasi you'll be watching out for more as a defender. Yep. Meron kang garage, meron kang A, B, and C sites. And A has two entry points. So, yeah. you've got your sewers and your A-long. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan mo talagang magbantay ng maige. As for attacker side, ano masasabi mo dito? Uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult for them and I think it's gonna be more of a slow game. Because mm-hmm. I believe eh, when you're attacking sa, sa dito sa Haven, it's mm-hmm. gonna you know take a lot of time para sa'yo. Like, that's just my thing. I think na... mas mahirap on defender side. Kasi kapag nirush, kunyari, dal- isa, oh. mag-isa ka nagbabantay mm. ng C, tapos nirush ka ng team, medyo mahirap i-defend exactly. din, di ba? Mm. Kaya, dyan papasok yung comms, yung rotations ng team nyo, which I'm sure that both of these teams have really prepared for. So, without further ado, alam kong excited na rin kayo sa mga labanan. So, ipapasa ko na kayo sa ating kwak-kwak duo, our Ducklings! Okay yung pangalan na yun, ah. And thanks, thanks, mm-hmm. thanks to Sobrang our host right there. Oh, I mean, isang beses na natin nakita yun. So, hello guys. Welcome back to the KDR Tournament Series. This is the playoffs. And I cannot wait. Kasi ito ang unang semifinal natin. But before anything else, I'm Dax. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. And, and, and she's Ling. Yes, Ling? sorry. Yes, there you go. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Okay, lang. So, I'm your intro's time, Ling. So, I am Dax. <laughs> And I'm Ling, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and alam mo, it's been it's been not really too long since we've been able to cast together. Kita naman natin every week nagakas na tayo sa sweaty nights at nasa mm-hmm. matera matibay. But here we are, semifinals time. Four teams left in the running at umpis pa lang champion na talaga yung matchup. Mm, simula talaga, I mean, pinaka una talaga may kita natin gabi is not just gonna be um one of uh, the best games that we're gonna be witnessing once again. Of course, we're gonna be seeing the best uh the best maps na makita natin which is of course gonna be bind split that's gonna be their uh map pick so kung tulad ng uh, what the host just mentioned earlier it's gonna be a map pick coming out from brand that's gonna be split so so far para sa akin ay para sa yudax ano bang masasabi mo for for this map uh, split ridiculous map for brand esports they already know what to do on a map like this sobrang nakachoke na lang yung composition nila at syempre san ka pa kung magavash si uh, kung magsisage si vash alam mo na nakakatuwa talaga yung nakita natin so best of three tayo dito it's a matchup that we've seen multiple times recently Ling at grabe talaga first seed brand esports of group A versus second seed of group B AG Nefarious and Ling since we were the witnesses of this great matchup. Ano ba ang kwento ng Bren versus AG Nefarious? Well, so far naman eh, kita ko talaga dito sa for Bren Esports that I've seen actually so far is that they're not exactly the team that would, I know, that would force themselves out of their comfort picks kasi we are gonna be seeing like the similar lineups here. Uh, you know, expected naman si Jesse Basha is gonna be playing for uh, Sage once again. Uh, you know, We're pretty familiarized with that so far. Ching, once again, with the Omen, Borkum as Breach. But what we've seen here so far is that they're not really the type of uh, they're not really the type of lineups that they you know, choose nila that would definitely just go in for the aim duels. They are definitely aware that Valorant is mostly about the game. I mean, it is, of course, the game where you really have to like uh, focus on your objectives and whatnot. But here's the thing. Bren is completely aware of that and they're not just be letting any, ro- like any round in time or any round in the match. na ibibigay sa kalaban na to. Yeah, it's really just gonna be looking to do it at both the attack and the defense. At mukhang ito na ang Bren Esports sa pili na ng roster na Dispenser gonna be on the kill draw. I'm probably gonna be able to call this whole roster from what we've seen so far. That should be on the stage. We'll be able to see Borkum on that breach. Ching will be, of course, playing the smoke there. Gonna be probably on the Omen and Dubstep should be happy with the raise into this one. So there you go. Because this is something Bren Esports is really trying to prell. Ito ang gusto ng comp. Sobrang nakaka-cho kahit saan ka pupunta link patayin ka na kaagad dahil lang maipit ka. <laughs> sobrang uh, sobrang maipit ka talaga kasi so far in the games that I've actually seen how Brent Esports actually tried to play out so far. They are fully aware once again on how to out, to actually out, play out this map because you know, uh, based on the utilities that they have, makikita mo talaga in terms of like the how Kill Drags plays out all throughout the map. Uh 
definitely focusing on the choke points so far because those are actually the angles that will be favorable to you once you're actually playing for defenders and so bad news talaga if you're actually trying to contest for those angles where Bren Esports have actually fully is actually going to be fully utilizing those angles those power positions sa kung saan it you're just going to be completely denied on whatever aggression na gusto mo talaga or pinaplano mo on basically in those parts of the map that's going to be hard to be contesting for yeah kung magintay ka lang if you're trying to be looking for the setup huli ka kagad because you're going to see suddenly a fault line paranoia pain shells to just get taken down but AG Nefarious is going to be first things first running Nexi in this composition so we've been seeing Nexi hop in and out of their roster because of a few issues here and there pero okay mga ngayon Gina Gina na talaga siya. Nexi gonna be on that Reyna. We got Draxmob on the Omen. Version will be playing the Jet Realist on the Breach. And Kevs will wrap it up with the Killjoy. So, si Magi Killjoy naman dito si Kevs. Yesterday, he looked a little uncomfortable in their group stage. Tingnan natin ngayon kung mapapagana niya nga ang Killjoy na ito. I really want them to see like more like mapapagana talaga nila tong lineup na to because so far honestly Dax uh, it's gonna honestly so hard for a team to actually constantly have to adjust in the roster changes that you have even though you would consider like playing around your 6 man or whatnot. masasabi talaga natin it it might actually be like a factor that might affect their performance tonight but I really do hope that they could actually play around this and you know possibly stand a chance against a team like Bren Esports because I have actually seen them uh, go up against a team like this to go up against Bren Esports Sports, like from the previous uh, matches, from the previous tournaments that I've witnessed firsthand and casted for, and you must have said that I'm a papa like AG Nefarious for tonight, I, for today, and Bernie Sports might actually have something in like up in their sleeves that we really want to see something different coming out of their performance for tonight. Yeah, but we've seen Bren really dominate in a matchup like this. At grab like speaking of the matches we were talking about before, the 11 to 1, 1 to 11 Haven game, that is just pretty much a stuff of legends. But Bren Esports has been denying AG Nefarious of that win multiple times perfect record still basically in the local scene but AG Nefarious this team is one of the best if not the best to really put up an edge and put up a fight against Brent pero mukhang dito muna ang ating fight AG Nefarious gonna be on the defense it's Brent Esports on the attack instead at mukhang A-Site ang magiging plano nila dito trying to get some tower control Aset ng mukha kanilang pinaplano ngayong araw na to. Although we are gonna be seeing a pretty standard and slow play ng gagaling for Bren Esports coming out for attacker side. They're not gonna be committing to any site just yet. Pero kung makita natin dito, we are definitely gonna be seeing dubstep here who's gonna be trying to hold off and disrupt the rotations yeah. na namang gagaling on towards ropes. But the angle here coming out from Nexi could actually pot put off just one there. But good thing there's gonna be Dispenser who's gonna be holding off that one with a classic. Right. Although dubstep cutting off once once again and wong oh, mga yeah, version will go down and Bernie Sports taking so much map control there. Pero mukhang B-side nga muna talaga sila dito. While Draxmob says, let's go for adventure dito sa may garahe mismo. Chingdo with the plant. Default setup here para sa Bren. 5v3 ngayon. And the fault line right now looking to connect as real as wanting to push. But the Omen TP is up on top. Up on top indeed, and there, that is definitely uh, definitely a powerful position. Now, Sun Mako contest. Although we are going to be seeing a paranoia play coming out from Draxi, well, it's not going to be getting a frag just yet. All to our side push, and Bren Esports is going to be wiping off anyone who is actually going to be playing for retake. A good use of utilities. So anyway, I, I would definitely consider that post fan situation was actually really solid coming out from Bren. Yeah, they had the numbers at uh, grab it talaga. They were able to get in position in time. It looked like Agent Paris was the one trying to attack instead. And the thing about the A push a while ago is it got the other objective taken na tipong okay maka map control tayo dito kahit di natin napetas yung jet it doesn't really matter because we can go for the choke and that was just dubstep holding the line in the middle and everything else falling in favor for Bren in that round Everything else was actually putting out in the favor on towards Bren just a while ago. But here's the thing that I can see. Here's the thing that I would like to actually point out that, you know, I would definitely have to give props for Bren that so far. Is that even though they did try to aggress at any point or like on towards a ramp so far, like they didn't actually risk themselves na may mapipitas so early on towards the map. Tula na ginagawa rin next dito na kung saan makaka-headshot pa nga on towards top step. He is actually going to be getting that initial frag on towards this round. Although we are definitely going to be anticipating, uh, of course, a wall here and an aggressive play coming out from Jesse Rush if he is going to be contesting that angle just yet. Although Nexi though could actually try to go in oh, and go for the jump spot here. Ah, but Masha, I don't think so. They're a little too <laughs> far off. Or grab it talaga. Sometimes he wants to jump for joy but right now Jesse Vash having the Phantom in hand. So they're walling off mail again just to make sure they can get some more mid control in order. Pero si Nexi nagkakatap na paran so sisiraan lang ba niyan? Nope. He's just gonna say ah, it's really really hard right now for Agent of Paris to actually get on top of the wall because Jesse Vash is waiting for it. While everything is happening though in the middle, we see a push here from Bren on A side. 
Ang interesting thing talaga natin may kita coming up from Brand Esports for today is that I'm you basically see every player inside the roster fully capable of playing for anti flanks for flags and basically any role. You see how flexible they are as a team. You see how flexible the players are when it comes to like role adjustments, and you definitely see how each and every one of them actually perform and actually step up all on their own, not really giving one player inside the team to even like take the spotlight for themselves. Gonna be Ching right now at the very least, spamming it down. Spotlight gonna be on the smoke itself. And you guys are tuning on in here to the KDR tournament series. This is the playoffs as version of backing on up. We're live on Facebook as well as Twitch. Go, sung san man na kayo kay lang. Pang san man na kayo nanonood. We welcome you here. Jesse Vash though, holding on to main, still keeping an eye out with the Phantom in hand. So, Brent Esports and this rifle by working out for them. Dispenser though, with three so far. Version na lang magi isa dito sa main screens. At ito na talaga ang Brent pupunta sa kanila. Borkum will go down, but Ching will get the kill. And there you have it. 2 to 0 for Bren. 2 to 0 for Bren, of course. They definitely have won that run so far, bro. But I would definitely have to say this uh, for sure is that they really did. I they really have like lost uh, like a few bit of credits that are coming out from the investment from the Spectre. I was uh, actually anticipating like minimal upgrades since I've, I've, I'm actually fully confident that they're going to be uh, able to even pull that off, even with just SMGs. Given like on the rate of like how they are actually playing out this map, napapansin mo talaga kanina that we are seeing like a really close range in games that pinipilit nila and not exactly contesting for the long shots just yet. But we are the Definitely gonna be seeing events play coming here from version from version rather now who is actually gonna be a really risky position here Although they are in plenty more on towards that we have not take tonight Dax. Yeah, it really feels like it's risky there for version because he's on that chat to get my tailwind come on bear Where will you fall either onto a side or you will be getting into the middle instead? But next he phantom and had malapita na naman dito sa entrance to heaven and he's gonna be brawling But dubstep with his wing over to the left side just gonna be able to get that kill brand esports now way too big they are really looking for the upgrades on the gun to the floor and version now with a kill on Borkum in the middle but si Draxmob okay lang mag hold ito na palipad si Dubs si Draxmob na kadalawa looking for a third dispenser is there though and the D&D connection looking for control B side pero madada pa si dispenser dahil kay version madada pa po dahil napakabilis na tak all the way from garage although we are going to be seeing this spike not being planted just yet we are definitely going to be seeing it all towards uh, all across the map on towards Beatles but it seems like version is going to be holding off that angle try to at least jump spot at least one player and that's going to be dubstep who is playing this one on a 1v2 left. he definitely doesn't have any utilities left to actually play this one out but you know for aim duels alone uh, naman. but you know kung si naman, uh, we are. this is definitely going to be a trade or possibly a a duel that he is ha like he really has to be contesting for this time around. Yeah, it's just all about the contest, truly. But now it's one v two, and Dubstep can be able to left. get the spike. Agent Farris, though, might be walking into this one. Ito na talaga ang Killjoy at yung Jet version will wrap it up to get three, and Agent Farris getting the third round turnaround that they need on a map like this. On a map like this, and of course, on a situation like that, actually, uh, for what AG uh, AG Nefarious actually did was actually pretty ideal for a situation like that. Toto, kung toto si naman Dax, on like that type of economy or regardless of winning or losing that round, masabi mo talaga that they could they have considerably lost a lot. I mean, they would definitely lose a lot for that round if they actually yeah. tr no, have not won that one, have not uh killed Dubs at on towards that last kill. Because kung toto si, um, they have uh lost a lot of players. And there's gonna be like a trade off, could actually be an ideal situation na kung saan, that would definitely secure the round for them. Yeah, yung mga petas, it will be helpful, but next he's just pushing on forward. And we see this a lot from aggressive rain as punta lang sa gitna, patayin ang isa, back out with the dismiss, make it easy as one, two, three. So, Brent Esports, they need to be very careful right now in dealing with Nexi. 10 H3 though, para sa ating arena. Brent right now gonna have the lockdown available, pero meron pa two ultimates ready ang AGN dito. Two ultimates to actually contest and possibly uh possibly go in to fight out the post bad situation of ano uh, mangagaling for Ben Esports for the later on towards but given that they are gonna be able to do this. But al although we are gonna be seeing a few aggressive peaks and jiggles here coming out from Draximov, and the lockdown has been finally committed on towards at B side. No pushes just yet. The peak from Draximov is gonna take out two. Good thing there's a trade coming out from Ben Chi. He's gonna be flashed out by the breach, and they are gonna be trying to at least go in for the push once again. Once they be having his we have any other smoked out. Lyria is actually gonna be committed all the way 
from CT. Paranoia is on towards play on towards that smoke. It seems like no one's gonna be pushing that angle just yet, except for realists to actually cancel out in whatever post ban situation. Of gusto talaga nilang mag ideal positions don. Adrian doing a really good job here, making a two to two scoreline. Pag nakita mo ang split, alam mo na that Brand is looking to gear up both on the attack and the defense side. A massacre. Pero ngayon, it's an AGN equalizer. Draxma with an amazing hold here. At kita talaga natin na ang AGN Fires na tuto na sa mga previous matches nila against Brand Esports, and they're really taking the fight to them so far on Brand's favorite map. Mm. Mukhang sa Bren on Bren's favorite map, they are going to be forcing back on towards eco territory. For, like Investing on just the sheriffs and possibly minimal utilities on towards his run. But you are definitely going to be seeing a lot more coming out from this team. Uh, I've seen them a lot more a lot more effective when it comes to just their pistol plays. And I really want to like, like, contest, like, see them contest more about this. But you know, makita natin for number of positionings na ginagawa ng AG Nefarious, they are not going to let, let, like, they're not going to be letting that happen. Natutunan talaga nila kung anong ginagawa ng Bren Eastwards on towards me given that uh, on towards their pistol it's napaka effective ng mga uh, sheriffs or basically any pistol on towards that type of positioning and you know AGN is gonna be playing this out really passively really slow and you know really safe talaga na kung saan masasabit ay na kung saan hindi talaga sila basta basta magpapat magpapabitas for Bren Esports on just like aim duels alone yep Bren Esports is a team that likes to get that pick off to allow them to push minsan talaga pag mag extend ka ng sobra di huli ka pero at the AGN, knowing when to peek and knowing when not. Kevs though will get that kill. Gonna be looking into A main itself. Killjoy right now with the setup and Kevs will get to. Mukha talaga ngayon. He's playing with his nest which is a really good improvement from yesterday. Hirap talaga siya kahapon in terms of playing the Killjoy in the Haven map up. Pero ngayon dito sa split, kitang kita talaga na natuto na siya at grabe ang hold niya dito sa A site ngayon. Grabe talaga ang hold doon dahil dalawa na po ang napipitas niya so far coming up from Ben Esports and possibly the third year once he actually get the shot on towards one and that's gonna be Dubset falling in his hands and going in for the 3k although Sage is trying, trying his best to actually go in for the support here but the Kevs though already with the 4k Real is being the one here to fall down and Kevs to finish off this round with an ace He just held on screens and even got rid of the flank Kanina talaga ang Ben Esports nagre-destruct lang tipo Uy pansinin mo ako dito sa may main and we saw two flanking from tower instead but in the end Kevs will wrap it up and a really good show here from our Killjoy already you can see that AGN is in full form Kevs on the board really leading the charge version is there Nexi here as well and overall all the top braggers are looking geared to take the fight against Bren now Taking the fight once again because we are definitely going to be seeing Bern Esports finally on towards their full buys, investing so much on towards their assault rifles. But of course, a play that's going to be happening here is going to be a one quick, quick, one quick kill. Let me get that from that aggression on towards Beatles, and that's going to be Ching picking off one, putting this down on a four v five situation. And of course, Bern Esports might actually might actually have a manpower advantage on towards this angle here. But they are definitely going to be put off position by that breach flash. Yeah, the flashes are annoying. The flash. Points are really the points of enter here for both sides. For tingnan natin ngayon kasi dubstep nagintay lang dito sa may main muna. Another blind though, and Realist is running out of utility here. Gonna have the fault line though. He will get flashed himself. Does turn around to try and mitigate a little bit of the duration there. Pero kita ng kita talaga. Alam na alam ng Bren at ng Agent of Fires kung paano magset up gamit ng breach. Percy Kevs, he is just on fire right now. Catch it out to Spencer. Dubstep right now doesn't get the lineup onto the breach there, and he is looking to control tower here. Pero Bren right now has to make a decision. Kaya ba na ito lakto ng beast? Mukha talaga ang titulak nila dito with the stage wall Pero si Draxamov mag-i-peak sa kaliwa At napapatay niya ang tatlo That is beautifully done against the garage But dubstep from above 1v3 ngayon Bren Esports down 2 members again 30 seconds left. The two members, and of course, that's gonna be with the first coming out from dubstep, and not gonna be the second though, because Realist is gonna be waiting on towards the corner side. And you know, I gotta say, huge props to Draximov. Good effort on actually trying to actually go in for the stalling here, and of course, the hold on towards B. That three frags that he actually got on towards B Garage was completely huge malaking impact on how the rounds are going to be going because that actually puts Bren in a pretty tight spot that you know masasabi talaga natin B tunnels is definitely not a way to go to actually go in for the side takes they were great at actually going for the mid takes B heaven takes and doon talaga natin sila makikitang like really effective and I definitely learned that lesson so far yeah Bren right now not seeing the usual high kaya natin manduro kahit sa split attack and this is just agent of Paris knowing their enemies so very well kwento nyo talaga guys this is really the biggest rivalry so far 
in this month. Saktong sakto talaga. We saw AGN almost take a series against Friend. Sa isang sweaty night. Tapos ngayon, mga nandito na naman sila. These are our two main qualifier entry. Sila ang first at second natin respectively na yung Brent Esports yung nanalo doon. So kita talaga natin dahil sa group stage nagkita na naman tong dalawang to at AGN is looking to make the upset finally happen with this advantage. Pero ngayon, Brent going for the half buy, share of gameplay, mukhang putulak muna sila sa B at stack muna tayo dito for Serialist. Ready, ready now with the Concosme. Rolling Thunder rin siya to try and get a little bit more of the stun duration. Fernando Swarm lang dyan para sa ating Killjoy at ang Brent naglalakad para mag set up. Here comes the showstopper right now. Dubs Step looking for a target at sabog si Realist Jan. Napasabog pa, napasabog talaga ng ulo ni Realist on both yard. Maybe seeing another hold from Daxima Fons again, killing off two and possibly hearing the footsteps here. But he is gonna get flashed out by Borkum. Good thing there's Nexi going in for the crossfire, and of course Jesse Vash is going in for the one dig. Although that's a quick refrag. Nagagaling sa teammate niya na si Kevs. We see at the very least a few kills here and there. Galing sa Bren Esports. Dito sa mga share of round nila pero hindi parehong yon sa pat. It's not enough at all. And Age in the Faris right now. Taking the three round lead. Now, this is expected on split. When you're playing on split, you have to have a good scoreline on the defense to have a really good anchor point. Kasi mahihirap ka talaga sa attack no matter what. Pero tingnan mo ang composition ngayon ng AG ending. They run the Reyna and the Jet. Kung mag pop off sila sa attack, kaya ng kaya nila manula, kaya ng kaya nila mang duro. Kasi double duels yan if ever. Pero sure, matagal pa yan. Kasi here we go into the next round. At huli si next ngayon dal sa fourth line. Mahuhuli talaga siya and possibly be, ano, be in a really tight spot here. Pero kung makikita natin, though, he's not gonna be afraid of anything just yet. He's just gonna be holding off just that one angle. Same goes with Draximov though, with this really cheeky top and vertical. And of course, Nexi securing one kill coming out of that. Draximov is definitely gonna be going for the spray at Mukhang. That's just, that's just gonna be the tag down na makukuha niya. He's definitely gonna be disabled so far by Borka. And of course, the push coming out from B-Main. Nexi trying to go in at least going for the pick at work. At least one. What Brent Esports po? Mukhang nagdaragdag sa na po on towards that push. Top step with a headshot towards Realist. AG version committing that play storm. It's gonna be a one v three para sa kanya. Although he's definitely gonna be seeing the breach here. Mukhang he still has. Ui. Tumalika at si Jesse Bash. He'll do it. Alam mo alam mo ling. The thing about the knives is they're a little quiet. So tumatak po kami nsa you don't actually hear it coming on to you. That's why presi Jesse Bash. Parang anin anin mo ipitik sa akin. What is actually hurting me? But in the end, Brand Esports they keep it simple because we're seeing them try to go play for play for picks. We're trying to see them get mid controls. I mean, no, we're just gonna bomb rush B. We're gonna go for the wall with the stage classic play makes it work. That was out of nowhere because my ultimate na yung kanilang omen. It's just a TP yeah. over to A side to get a safe plant, and that is that. Brand Esports saying, okay, if AGN knows how to play against our complicated stuff, let's keep it simple and let's keep it clean. They definitely tried to keep it clean, but those were not the clear shots that I've seen so far uh, coming out from the jet ng AG Nefarious. I was definitely anticipating a lot more from that engagement, but still though, it was a good effort. I would definitely say that Nexi is not going to be aggressing so much on B because, you know, I can predict it so far. It's easier to read it if they're still doing their own thing. Like this, although it's still going to be affected this time around because they're going to be one of them. And that's going to be Borkom being the first one to fall down. Coming out from Red Esports, the second one going through his upside, but of course, Shane tries to at least go for the trade version. Wang! May a contribution of so far with the Vandal, and of course, aggressive play on towards with Dispenser, gonna be pung completely punishing anyone. He's up to the two kills here, and possibly the third if you could actually get the breach here. Yeah, Dispenser is someone you cannot bomb rush like that. He can really stand the test of time, stand against so many people. For AG and Tama, lang ginawa nila, they realize the situation. Play the aggro, kung ganon ang gagawin ng Bren. Walang setup, setup jan. Just a brawl lang in the middle. Absolute death match happening right now, and whoever stands tall is probably the toughest one there. For Dispenser. Now stuck in the sewers. Intai, intai, lang jan because AGN is securing the spike, and Spencer has to figure out how to play this out. You definitely have to figure out how to play this out. Although you're not going to be seeing them uh, contesting this and pushing on towards this, because mato to kung to tosin talaga dax, it is going to be a really risky spot for you to put yourself in. You know, considering na wala naman siya dum time to play around with, the Spencer could actually decide to at least save this one out and secure uh, secure another gun on towards the next one, possibly help out the economy and. 
this gun guys. might actually be the one to actually win this uh, for, for it, Brent Esports to actually win another one for them but economy wise it's a lot wiser for them to do that for now yeah it really is especially when you are gonna be able to have a setup wherein you have dispenser able to get easy takedowns here and there pag si dispenser talaga maiwanan mong barrel alam mo na magiging problema yun para sa AGN pero grab it talaga Draximov with the step up game 10 to 6 right now and we mentioned that AGN when they're triple threat simple you know triple threat triple fraggers get do get those kills then they are good to go pero pag ganyan si Draximov talaga tumutulong alam mo na mas magigi pa talaga ang laro ng AGN ngayon pero si Nexi kailangan magingat at mahuhuli niya si Dubstep dyan kahit mag flights ka man it's not gonna work out but Borkum now gonna be able to get the trade on back here comes the lockdown though in play Kev's gonna be dealing with Dispenser perfect play using the turret as a distraction and that is what we wanna see from Kev's but now it's gonna be one lockdown and the chain Draximov though with the flag 3v3 ngayon Para sa Bren, have a plant sila sa A side. Plants sa A side, and of course, the post plant situation on towards that 3v3 na gusto nat tala pipilitin. Although version is gonna be making his play on towards screens, he is gonna be trying to utilize the cloud burst upang madedena information whoever's gonna be playing for close screens. He is gonna be putting off on a really bad timing because Borkum is gonna be putting him in a really bad spot and of course we are definitely gonna be seeing Jesse Bash on another cheeky angle to make it that na natin ngayong gabi he is gonna be securing that one and another for Brenny Sports Brenny Sports doing it again keep it simple with a lockdown play and in all honesty their lockdown plays is some of the best in the scene pag mag set up sila with dispenser alam mo na may mahuhuli sila because either way kung tatakbo ka di mapabaril ka kung mag stay ka di mo detain ka it really is so effective but I gotta say though Kev's really stepping up his game today. Because we saw the standard killjoy play that we make crossfire, use the distraction, something we didn't see yesterday because I remember being very critical about it. So we saw the AGN sobrang sobra dinadala na yung gameplay nila against Brand because this is a matchup worth to watch. Definitely worth to watch, and this could actually be a really quick one. Then we got from Britney Sports in this round because we might get a standard A take and AG Nefarious Pokes. Mo ang mahapit sa list ng dalawa. Mo ang dispensers that are going to be there for the trade, but it's going to be left for version here to go in for the stall and the hold on towards A side. He definitely has a few cloud bursts and an updraft left, but definitely we're going to be seeing a push here coming from Borkum. The flick does not connect his shots, but of course they're not going to be planting the spike just yet. There's going to be rolling thunder being committed. Mo ang there's no sagot na po ang kuya natin because the retake is not gonna be I know not gonna be online yet because mukhang wala pa sila na pagdan to I love the play there from Borkum to answer the Rolling Thunder with the Rolling Thunder unfortunately andyan na naman si Draximo but grabe talag pinaggagawa ng omen na to he is just ridiculous right now he is completely on fire and Age Nefarious is really bringing their all against Bren Esports here 7-4 right now so both sides do have basically their win conditions up so split attack gusto mo talaga mga at least 4 points ka o Okay, kana AG in the meantime having seven here. At tingin natin do, kasi ito na ang last round before the side two swap, and this can be a big one here for AG in to get a little bit more done. Kung makak eight four scoreline man sila. Yes, an eight four scoreline is that is that they definitely need to actually secure more rounds coming out from their defender side. But we here we are definitely gonna be seeing another standard play. Nan ng kagaling kay Nexi na kung sa ni ko kumit panganyang kanyang empress dito. They are not gonna be waiting for that push just yet. Tina natin kung they are gonna be going aggressive here on towards their defender side. Nat's gonna be one that's gonna be completely punished by version dito galing sa galing sa defender. Although we are definitely deploying and setting themselves up on towards the B side take and more there's Draximov once again holding off against one dubs up going in for the trade they are definitely going to get flashed out once again but seems like Kev's creeping his way on towards the side securing on towards backside wood and mukhang wala siyang makikita dito we have to turn around just in time there's one trade coming out from behind and there's going to be Borkum Playing this one in a 1v2. Yeah, it's Borkum time, ladies and gentlemen. If he can clutch this, then you already expect the best from Borkum yet again. For AGN now buying time with the lockdown. Perfectly placed because mga 12 seconds rento plus plus. So this really will put Borkum at the edge because this is going to be allowing AGN to rotate accordingly to defend the spike. Left. And we're not seeing this too often nga sa local scene natin, yung mga defense oriented with where the spike is. So kitang kita talaga ang AGN nag adjust accordingly. At habang nagahanap si Borkum, na rinin niya konti yung pagbar. At the name fault line though, and AGN is playing for time, making sure this objective will be in their favor. Borkundo has to rush them down if he wants to get something done. He still has a flash but doesn't Ooh. use it. And Kevs will peek alongside Realist. Double peek right there to get the 8-4 lead. And AGN Switching looking side. pretty strong going into the next half. 
sa napakatinding double pick dun na nakita natin coming up from their uh coming up for their play on towards Beatles and it was pretty uh, honestly a really effective one playing that one on a 2v1 is definitely going to be securing you on like winning the duels and actually going in for the trade possibly winning that round for your team but you know a pretty smart play coming out from AG Nefarious once again and yeah that's that's a really solid one, I might say. IG Nefarious is showing to us that their play of form is even better than their group stage form yesterday. They didn't really dominate as many expected. They were just in the middle of it and really put the edge because they had to play the tiebreaker basically against Anbu Elite Gaming. But this time though, they are really showing us how it's done on split against Bren Esports. Bren Esports has been tried and tested with this composition, but maybe just maybe they have been scouted out a little too much for thing not because they are the ones defend. The Dito sa half na ito. Sila talaga magdefend this time around, but I'm definitely gonna be expecting a lot coming out from Age and Nefarious for today, uh, for this half. Given that sila ang nakadouble the Willis lineup here, titingnan natin how and how effective that actually is. That Jet and Reyna combo, I'm definitely gonna be seeing a few layers playing off. Possibly a paranoia here. Now, uh, we are definitely going to be seeing them uh, on a pretty tight spot with that push and narrow uh, narrow passageway. Na kung saan gagaling sila on towards B tunnels. Pong, they're definitely going to be holding the angles just yet. Wala pa namang tato with the turret could actually trigger any point of information na mabibigay nila ka, like for the defenders but you know concuss Wong, there's gonna be the push and there is no one to see although Borkum is gonna be traded off I mean picked off so quick and of course that's gonna be one kill coming for dubstep reach going into the flash and Wong, he's gonna be picking up the ghost 3v3 ngayon and Age Nefarious now gonna be setting up on site another quick one there and it really felt like that Brent Esports just a little too slow on the trigger finger in the first place but Dubstep now hops on top of the crate does get that kill first he really sets the version and jump out in 1v1 now between Bash and version but Bash will take it there so Brent Esports gonna be able to get this defuse gonna get this point at grab it talaga Link the problem sometimes with Brent Esports is they do have that tendency to start slow especially kung sila yung unang game at sila yung unang isi stream Mm -hmm. we, we warm up periods sila, and we see that very often no matter what map they play so it might really be attesting to that because it's not as you know reflexes lang ngayon, hindi kasing, what do you say sharp it's not sharp, as sharp as yeah. you expect from them <laughs> It definitely not a sharp. It, it actually happens sometimes to a lot of players. Na kailan mo talaga mo na magi inip. Considering there, there is there is gonna be your first game for today, and you know, kailan ibig no matter what the situation may be, you better not be that type of player na sobrang tagal magi inip because that could actually cost you a single map here. Sabi talaga natin, Agent Faris definitely has that lead. That, like sabi ano ang hirap talaga, uh, hirap talaga may kita to ng ganito ang brand esports right now. Uh, the shots were not actually that satisfying. Fine, that's where what we're used to, but you know, na ka kara aus parin naman tayo dito given how uh, how they actually won that game just I sorry won that round just a while yeah. ago that we've seen. Yeah, basically the story of this game so far, Agent Fire is stepping up, Brent Esports trying to warm up, and it, with those two right factors there. into play, you can see why Agent is in a bigger lead here. First, drags mo ma papa tigel, ma papa Ellis dun sa may mail. You got mail. It's a grenade coming to your face. Dubs up again with the zone, and Brent Esports right now is showing what this composition is all about. Link, it's choke versus. Versus choke, versus choke, versus choke. San ka man sa map, mapipilitan ka talaga mapatigil dahil sa Bren. Mukhang mapipilitan talaga sila sa pag-push na sa narrow angle na ito. That's gonna be bad news for the one player, the Killjoy, na mukhang pipilitin uh, for that wall to actually break. But bad news on them. We are definitely gonna be seeing a really closer to engagement. Nagagaling kay Ching dito. Possibly nga na makakalakso ng dalawa and possibly the third here. But good thing there's a backup from the Jesse Vash to actually go in for the 2k and go in for, the, for that defense seconds. and crossfire. There we have it. Version Ooh. no win the taps and version again. We were talking about what kind of software update he's had, but this time though, Dubstep will cancel the download there. Percy next, Nasame Raps, he does have a Spectre in hand. And if anyone can do it, it might be him. Percy Dubstep. Tutulak na naman Jan Bren Esports getting it 2 0 here in the in their second half. And this is good to hear as Dubstep. Ayan na, nag iinit talaga ang Bren kasi linalabas na nalang crouch. And there we have it 12, 11, 10 between the top three ng Bren. 15, 14, 11 para sa AGN. Kita Kita talaga, kills are just around for pretty much every single player in this game so far. People stepping up in this first semi-final matchup. 
they're definitely starting to ano mukha nagsisimula na talaga sila mag-init ngayong gabi ngayong umaga Dax kasi kung makikita natin dito it was uh, honestly isang napakabilis ang patay na nangyari doon and it was pretty expected na madin given that the choke points it's honestly really hard to contest coming out from uh, coming out from the positioning na nakita natin just a while ago but then again no aggressive play so far coming out from them except for except for the one that they've de definitely tried to execute a while ago on towards uh, Arams but you know good thing for AG Nafar is they're not gonna be falling into their trap they're not gonna be contesting for those angles just yet you know going for standard mid control tira natin kung may mag ba talaga on towards that part of the map and we're definitely gonna be seeing no one's gonna be like tagged down or at least ano, going in for the initial frag so far in this game yeah maybe someone's gonna be sorry about this push very very soon because here we go with the flashpoint and dubstep looking to hold there's the leader though into play at the dispenser ang makakapatay ng isa so a hell take here para sa friend you don't see this too often double spack man nga at very go though with Draxamob saying akit tong B-site na to I defended as well I'm gonna try to do the attack even better realist though is forced to back out making this a 1v1 on the side pero si Draxamob pa rin ang mananalo and our omen is doing an amazing job so far but Jesse Bash now on the hunt looking for the backstab catches out realist there res to make it a 2v1 looking for the duel against the omen that is just on fire right now there's the hoodie though and we will see the kill by Ching Jesse Vash also on point today he is really clutching it out for his team around that actually happened so fast given that how i uh, know how fast the uh, b heaven uh defense actually happened for brand esports to crumble down it's a good thing that uh, the crucial resurrection that we see that coming out from Jesse Vash just a while ago actually, uh, sabi talaga natin actually made them actually rethink their decisions as, as of the moment, given that it's a two v three just a while ago. You know how quickly turn like yeah. the things actually turned around, given na yung yung how unlucky the breach actually was. Na shapay na kadal na spike. Nino parang dun talaga dun talaga natin na kita nun uh, the few errors that I've actually seen. Coming out from a team that may hit that in Omega. Oh, but there you have it. Persian popping off with a blade storm, but suddenly he gets taken out. Ching is showing us how it's done, and Ching gets the ding on three so far. Nexi is all alone, and that is that quick round there. To Bren to equalize, and you can see how much of a stalwart defenders Bren are here on split. Oh, they are definitely going to be effective as the defender side here, and the double duelist isn't going to be paying off really well here so far. Because if we can see that here, they're hard to get on going in for the side takes on on towards the narrow passageways, on towards B tunnels, on towards A ramps. Uh, if we can see that here, they're hard to get on going in for the side takes on on towards B tunnels, on towards A ramps. Uh, if we can see that here, they're hard to get on going in for the side takes on on towards B tunnels, on towards A ramps. Uh, if we can see that here, they're hard to get on going in for the side takes on on towards B tunnels, on towards A ramps. Uh, if we can see that here, they're hard to get on going in for the side takes on on I would definitely say that they were somewhat effective on the first like initial part of the rounds, but they're not gonna be like good for any like part of the follow-up given that how well Burn Esports is actually able to actually turn things around regardless of whatever manpower that you have against them. The biggest thing right now Bren is doing is they're able to separate AG and multiple times. You know what Painshells like that's thrown like that? We saw it in the last last round. Na pelitan talaga ang AG and mag go for the 1v1 dahil lang don. At sure, I, I wanna commend nga Draxima for winning out a lot of fights since a B site in the mm -hmm. round before the quick one there. But it really is still Bren having the advantage because they have the position here on the map and they have been able to equalize and they're trying to do it even more. They're playing the high ground down for the Spencer. And that's one more thing that they do a lot. They're rotating into multiple spots on their defense. So ni matalaga ma pre predict mashado ang anong gagoin ng Bren per round. Hindi mo talaga mabubit. Ito napakalikot kahit nang gagaling sila coming out from defender side. But isang napakabilisang patayan po nang gagaling dito. Because Nexi is able to get at least one here. Borkum not exactly hitting his shots. And Nexi once again going in for the entry and possibly clearing out the side. We're gonna be left with Jesse Vash once again to play out the clutch. Oh, Jesse Vash all left. alone. But that's how he likes it. But Realist will say back to reality. Vash, you can't clutch everything. You can't stop time here. Because it's time for AGN to take it's back. 9 to 8. They get a good round. At yun talaga niya kita natin dito ling eh. Simple push leads to good results for both sides. It was a pretty simple one and a really quick one. It was her. It was honestly, it was really effective that Nexi actually go like managed to hit his shots because those were the actually crucial ones. Denying at one point, uh, denying one utility agent here on getting that information, getting the you know the uh, 
getting the frags that definitely needed to stall off the site was actually a pretty huge one. And you malaki talaga the impact on actually how the rounds are going to be going. Given that wala silang flashes, wala silang basically any point of utility that they need for post fan situations on basically any situation in the round. Yeah, here we go. Dispenser. Oh, trigger discipline. Oh, he's waiting. And he will get one and two. Diyan talaga sneaky boy, Dispenser. Sabi niya, I have a trash can here. I'm just waiting to get those kills. AGN not checking the corners. And that is going to be the takedown there for two ultimates pa to. At alam natin kung si Nexi makapitas ng isa hama ni Empress. Alam mo na, raid boss time para sa AGN to. Mm, raid boss time po. At the long ultimates na makikita natin coming out from AG Nefario. So possibly a doable round coming out from them. Although the defender side, they have no map control just yet. Because Dubstep is going to be able to pick off one. And of course, he has that visual on towards the spike. No one is going to be going anywhere near that at this point. It's hard to contest against the upper. But Kevs though, decided to at least play this one on towards B Heaven. But Dispenser... Oh, uh, I don't even I don't know if that's a new kind of BM put a turret on his corpse. But a dispenser, he says, hey, hey, turn around guys. Tambay tambay lang jan. And that is that. Friend Esports equalizes again. You can really see that this composition is geared for the defense. And as of the moment, we're gonna be getting a pause between our two teams. Cause AGN right now feeling the pressure. Grab it talaga ambren esports pag maina sila ready to go. But I have to commend AGN ngayon. They know one the weakness of Bren at the very start of the game and they were able to take a really good uh, lead of it. And two, everyone in AGN is really stepping up their game here and now. This is the matchup they know that they can prove to everyone that we can actually beat this team. But it's really gonna be a matter of how or when will they do it. They really have what it takes to actually step up and actually try to beat a team like Bren Esports. But here's the thing: kung toto sin, medyo nahirapan sila so far here because na tulad ng sinabi mo just a while ago na nagsisimula na maginit ng Bren Esports and it's hard na dun like mabibigyan natin yung mga rounds as early as now na hindi pa sila like at their full potential at the moment. Kung ano kung toto sin, they really have to secure more rounds so far in this game to the point that they're not gonna be letting that like Bren Esports play out to their full like. To their full game. Ang hirap na may kita natin to may like, ang hirap na may kita natin ng AG AG Nefarious playing this one on an eco on towards eco territory once again playing around their shares and of course an ultimate being committed on towards that side tick and so far none of their shots are going to be hitting although Nexi with the bulldog is going to be managing to pick off one Jing contesting for a heaven once again and he seems like the swarm grenade is actually going to put him in a really off position here. Ah, uh, Jing going to be able to get that kill. AGN going for the rolling thunder. Brand reading it right, but Nexi still looking impressive and as we say. With the rain now, you get that kill. You can be actually the great boss rate to happen. But Bren Esports right now systematically, automatically killing one each time. And this is Jesse Bash on top of the ball. Presi Nexi, ito na talaga. 1v3. Pero kaya pa niya to. Kaya pa niya makapatay na iba. Hindi na talaga. Kasi anjan si Borkum. And even though AGN really popped up a good fight there and a good take, you can see that Bren had the advantage on the eco. And they will take the lead in this map. Definitely gonna be taking the lead and finally closing in the gap. It was just not a while ago, Dax. Na kung saan ay kita natin isang napakaling four point gap na mar na meron ng uh, AG Nefarious against a team like Brand Esports. Although they have committed so ma uh, so many ultimates during that round, it definitely try. I find tinasubukan talaga nila to work around the sheriffs, to work around the bulldog, and to work around Nexi. Na kung saan he was the pretty much the only one here trying to secure the frags in the team. And we're definitely gonna be expecting a lot more coming out from their shots, coming out from their plays. Just so well, the, just like what we've seen a while ago, but it's a bit hard to even hit their shots, their shots, even contest for angles that Bren Esports are really familiar with. Because we can see here, a pretty cheeky angle that may, na can be played out by Ching once again with a close A ramp. Because it looks he's not going to be staying there for too long, given that ma, ma, like it looks like they know that Agent of that AG Nefarious has going to be is is completely going to be having a uh, map control on towards deep mid. Where it's going to be pitas and dispenser is going to be completely punished oh. coming out from that. Push uh, and the dismiss, even to just juke out the opponent version, will take advantage. And AG Nefarious now getting their du double duelist composition to do what they need to do yet again. But mo B side na naman sila. And kita talaga natin ng AG and successful dito sa B. Kita ng kita na comfortable, especially si Draxum of dito sa pwes na ito. But it's up to Jesse Vash now waiting for reinforcements. In time muna siya dito sa mid defense side. At niita lang niya duman ang fault line jan. 
Inaantay talaga niya may dumana at least one. And of course, may mga magkasim sana naman dito on towards the city. But seems like Brandy Esports is not going to be giving up the operator. And of course, the guns that they currently have, they definitely have like they definitely have to save this one. The least that they could do is actually go in for the exit frags. This time around, try to inflict more casualties on towards the economy para sa agent of ours. But ano, it seems like it's the smartest thing to do right now. They definitely don't, like definitely don't, I definitely know rather how to I uh, know not like give out any point of uh, any point of damage to their economy coming out from their side and uh, it's a pretty smart one I might say coming out from Brand Esports na kung hindi nila hindi talaga nila i-risk go for yung mga ganun type of rounds ganun type of uh, guns and you know possibly mabibigay pa ang op mukhang bad news pa nga sila para sa kanila yun if makakuha pa ng op ang Eugene Nefarious in this I, in this game you know what's bad news though na the passive version trying to get out of garage and he got eaten by the spike sad life pero oof. yun yun oof na lang yun ang masasabi natin but AGN still gonna have an economy at mukhang yun nga operator talaga ang hawak dito ng attacking side natin ang tanong daw magamit ba nila talaga mas maigi to we'll see if Realist can actually get a takedown their dubstep though we know it when he brings us out the operator it is the rallying call of Bren Esports every single time but 10 to 10 this game is as close as can be mag overtime ba tayo see you naman uh, game number 1 of course guys you can check out the quick little poll right there sa ating stream kung Bren win o AGN win man you know we support both of these teams we want to make sure that the action is is here and now ready for you all and dispenser is ready for a push here into the vents but AG Nefarious is looking around to see how they'll control mid now they're definitely gonna be going for that passive mid control na kung saan makikita natin dito no one's gonna be aggressing at any point on any point of the map just yet we're definitely gonna be seeing a really cheeky angle na binabantay ni dispenser di it, sorry ni dubstep dito kung saan um and having that dead body back on towards the floor because version making openings for the team picking off one putting down two of four v5 at mukhang no rotation is going to be triggering just yet except for the breach though who's going to be trying to give out his assist assistance on towards ct and possibly going to be holding on that towards an angle for the anti-flag but we are definitely going to be seeing a genifars inclining more on towards that a take now uh, they're trying to at least pinch out on whoever's going to be playing on towards a heaven but possibly another kill for me is definitely going to be securing them for run. the full map control that they're definitely going to be needing lockdown being committed and that's going to be with a one to fall down it's going to be jesse bash site is definitely going to be contesting just yet that's just going to be uh the omen of course on rolling thunder you go commit nila. 10 seconds left Stole. on the clock and Shane is going to pick up one the stall is huge. Oh. Look at that. The pitas pa niya yung sino may spike. At wala nang oras ang AG the Fires dito. Dubstep doing the right thing. And hiding oh. there. And if you want to be hype of an objective time-based win, there you have it. Dubstep also gets two. But what a pickoff from Bren. They found the right person. They saw, oi, spike, minimap, there, get that kill. They do it. And because of that, AG Nefarious, even though they had such a good plan situation in the first mm -hmm. place, Bren will still take the round. Medyo na, uh, honestly, parang left. medyo dun sila naiipit. Eh. Although they have like done a lot during that, you know, on during that site, like, it was pretty bad news. Na the only person talaga, oh, the person actually fell down first was actually the spite matter. No, saan, the lot of time pressure na nabibigay para sa kanila. Definitely got the site, but you know, the bomb plot, the objective wasn't actually done yet. Dun talaga naiipit ang ano, dun talaga naiipit ang ano, AG Nefarious so far in the game. And there you have it. It really just goes to show though that time is of the essence. And from what we've seen in this game, na grabe talaga yung mga holes dito ng both sides. They've been able to really reel back how they defend both Agent Faris and Brand playing in different spots pero ngayon dahil meron operator si Dubstep alam mo na nakakatakot talaga ang pinaggagawa niya one pick off from the up there we go though with Kevs getting the counter at Brent Esports making this a 4v4 situation making this a 4v4 ito talaga mahihirapan talaga natin may uh, ito talaga yung mga place na we're gonna be seeing standard coming from Brent Esports once we actually see uh, Dubstep finally with the operator dun talaga natin may kita na he is gonna be forcing this one out regardless of whatever aggressive angles na pinipik niya uh, kailangan talaga nila kumuha ng pitas upang upang mas madaling magagawin ng mga sai upang mas madaling gagawin ang mga uh, denial on map control on basically any point of the map but we are definitely gonna be seeing Agent Nefarious once again going 
seconds left. defense play here, but it it could possibly be bad news for them given that yung maka set up ang Killjoy na kung saan makakabigay pa nga ng info. They could definitely swarm their way on towards Jesse Bush, but no, tingnan natin dito on how many kills he'd actually get from that spray down. That's gonna be two, possibly the third. And of course, a really good hold on towards A, Ra a Heaven. It's like he just sprayed his name all over A Tower Match and point. that was just that. Match point na para sa Bren Esports ito. At kita talaga natin, Vash has been stepping up in this whole game. He knows his team needs the warm-up time. He knows his team needs to get hot and he has been there for his squad with the reses in hand. At yun talaga yun eh. When you have Vash with the res available, it really is a big tool to make this a 6v5 scenario per round. Mm, kaila, kinakailangan talaga nila ano, to actually deny at least one point. Kaila, they really have to like set the objective of denying uh, the operator or you know picking off at least one coming out from uh coming out from Brand Esports. Kasi ang hirap talaga encounter given na you know pa isa sa pa isa sa talaga sila nagpi pick and parang isang madaling patay lang po mga galing para sa mga operators na yun. And here we go, the AGN looking to make it simple again on B side, but Borkum is ready for it this time. He catches us, drags him off there, realist though with a counter for the spend. Gonna be on the board as well. Next, he tried to hold the life. But Ryan, si Kev's alang ang mag isa. Tensions though to blow things up. And the Spencer is there again. Run Esports will take game number one after showing us how to play the defense here on Split. They have definitely uh, given off, given us a really good lesson so far. Now, regardless of whatever your lineup is, if you're definitely not going to be getting any point of objective not to be achieved on towards the game, mukhang mahirapan talaga, eh. mahirapan talaga kayo regardless. Kasi kung makikita mo, na, makikita mo tam naman talaga sa lineups na pinapakita ng Brand Esports is that they are not going to be going for the risky plays na magdodobol do wala sila on towards speed. Makikita na talaga natin those for site intensive uh, site intensive defense regardless of Whatever map control na BB game was for attacker side, um, you just really know how, you should you, you should definitely try to at least know how to utilize your utilities really well. Na kung saan you're not gonna be letting any point or any uh, any run for the attackers. And dun dun yun talaga magsimula yung panalo. Dun yun talaga masimulan uh, kung saan may, be, you're just gonna basically gonna be giving everyone a really hard time on towards side takes and basically achieving objectives on towards this game. And just really looking to play the objective. But guys, say though there's some step ups there from both sides. Kitang kita. Talaga. Nah, hey, we got Borkum, we got Draxmob doing what they need to do best. Some amazing holds there from the Omen multiple times on the attack and the defense for the side of AGN. But at the same time, grab it, talaga. Na alala ko parin yung clutch pick off nun. Just the perfect person. Yun napatay niya. He had to choose. You see so many people, diba ling parang ABC. Ano to dating game. Tasa hanap niya yung the one. Nah, he found the one, the one, and he got the kill there. Cause because of that, na wala na shake talaga yung confidence nung AGN. Because he already knew that. That they had that round in the back. They were gonna go for an A plant, but no, it was just little too late in terms of the time. And Brand Esports again showing us in the defense side that they can really stall for time a lot. But Agent Paris also in their defense, darling. And the mo especially no unang half natin sa game na yun. Well, for the unang half coming out from AJ and Faris, is that they were definitely inclining more on towards aggressive play because they really have to. Kung may kita natin dito, Bren Esports, yung sa tulad na sinabi mo just a while ago, is ni pa sila nagiinip. And ang ang napapansin talaga natin from AJ and Faris is parang gusto talaga nila to make the most out of that situation, to make the most out of like the condition that Bren Esports was actually uh was actually been in just a while ago. And makita natin yun and Sabi natin aggressive plays were actually a good thing to so actually shake things up and parang ano parang sabi talaga natin na um, coming out from defender side I mean it definitely works but it does it doesn't really happen uh, all the time it's, it's not that effective all the time because you know eh, parang the sooner like Bren actually realized that pretty sooner na paulit ulit ang ginagawa and the next he was actually const like, constantly going for the peaks on towards mid and doon talaga natin may kita on how easily na to, for them to actually disable yung mga yung mga plays na ginagawa nila doon mid control is actually pretty doable just by just by doing that alone so yeah so many things doable there and you, you gotta say that that is a great game number one link grabe talaga tong rivalry na to Bren versus Age and Farias always an impressive side behold best of three to though so may two maps pa ang AGN para i real back may bind at may haven pa but before we get into that one we'll be tossing it over I believe to our host there on the other side <laughs> Thank you, Dax and Ling. Alam mo, Laika, ang galing ng casters natin. They bring Ay, out the best in the teams. Sobrang bidang bida <laughs> ng AG Nefarious and Brendon. Oo naman. Pero, other than our casters, syempre, 
give the team the credit as well. Grabe yung gameplay. Imagine a score of 13 and 10. 10. Sobrang intense. Dikit na dikit yung laban. Sa split na mapa na sabi nga natin kanina, hindi naman ganun kadaling pasukan niya na sa attacker. Pero pinakita sa atin ng dalawang teams ito yung strength nila in both defending and attacking side. Although ang Adrian Fires, medyo nag-fall off sila nung sila na nasa attacker side. But, dude, it was still such an awesome game. Oo naman. Alam mo, yung prediction ko kasi dito sa match na to, kasi napanood na natin naglaban tong mm. dalawang to during the main qualifiers. Mm-hmm. AJ Nefarious and Bren Esports din yung naglaban during the finals of the main qualifiers. Mm-hmm. And yung question kasi dito is, will history repeat itself? Will Bren Esports still come out as the victors? Mm-hmm. Pero again, this is a best of three series and semifinals pa lang to. We don't know, baka in the end sila pa rin yung magharap sa finals, di ba? Marami talagang pwedeng mangyari, yeah. ganun. So, tingnan natin kung anong kalalabasan ng matchup ito. But again, this is only game number one of a best out of three series. Mamaya meron pa tayong Haven and Bind maps na mapapanood. Pero for now, we'd like to take this opportunity to give a special thanks to our sponsors. So, thank you so much, Globe at Home. With Globe at Home, you can recreate the world right at home. And of course, the official PC partner for this KDR tournament series, Legion Philippines and Intel. Stylish outside, savage inside. Mm-hmm, exactly. The KDR tournament series is also powered by XSplit. Kung nakita niyo yung mga instant replays natin kanina na napakaangas, that is brought to you by XSplit. And of course, this tournament is brought to you by Valorant PH and Valorant Rising. Yung! And thank you so much to our sponsors. Pero ngayon, guys... Stay tuned because we do have giveaways. Before I forget, we have giveaways. Oh. Akala nyo yung mga players nang pwede manalo? Hell no. Tayo Kayo rin. rin? Pwede manalo. Hindi, hindi. Sila lang. Yung That's viewers right. lang. So kung nakita nyo kanina, we have giveaways right over here. Ito yung mga prizes na pwede nyo mapanalunan. Ooh. Oof. You see that? Jam packed. We've got 500 pesos worth of Gcash. Maraming pwedeng manalo nyan. Dalawang Legion K500 gaming keyboard. And dalawang gaming mouse as well. Oh the M500 God. from Legion as well. Pati na rin. Headset. Parang kompleto na yung gaming gear Meron mo dyan. Meron pang X-Split. Kompleto na kung mag- nagbabala ka mag-stream. <laughs> kompleto na may pang giveaway yes, ka pang Gcash. Yes, you have a X-Split license as good for one month as well as three months. So ano pang hinihintay nyo? Use the official hashtags which you can find in the comment section down below. Nasa pin comment lang yan. Just make sure you include all of it. So yun lang. After the break... We'll watch more action between Brand Esports and AJ Nefarious, so don't go anywhere. Ko, there are so many more things that we can do with 5G. In so many industries, like automotive industry, you have self-driving cars, we always talk about that. And logistics, you got drones Ooh. flying all over, delivering packages. So galing na no, Janina. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She is no longer with us. 
1G started back in the 80s, and back then you could only do analog voice calls. 4G is like you're on a two-lane highway, you're in your sedan, driving along with other cars. But 5G, you're in a 10-lane highway in your sports car. Oh, <laughs> Without physically going to the store. Ooh! Some driving cars? I wouldn't need to get my license anymore. A drone could actually deliver a package straight to you. But I'm just gonna fast forward into the future. I was swear at the moment because the future is closer than ever. I practice that a lot, no? Welcome back, everyone. You're still tuned in to the KDR Tournament Series Main Stage, the Playoffs. Kasama niyo pa rin ako, si Laika Mea at... Cloud with the peace sign. Cloud with the peace sign. Hell yeah. So guys, sobrang pumped up. First game pa lang. Action pack na! <laughs> Actually, hindi ko expect na it would be a neck and neck game. To be ako expect ko. Kasi, andito na tayo. Best of the best of the best. 
Well, true. Pero I, I, I thought na magkakaroon pa ng parang momentum build up. Alam mo, parang diesel engine na nag iinit pa eh. Pag andito ka, dapat online agad. Dapat that game na game na agad. Kung baga, kung ikaw yung brand esports, di ba? Brand malakas. Mm, brand malakas. Kung ikaw naman yung AG, G na G ang AG. Dapat ganun. Yun ba talaga yun? Hindi. Okay. <laughs> Beto ka lang yun. In fairness, in fairness doon. <laughs> Pero, of course, This event would not be possible without our awesome sponsors. Tama. And the official PC partner for this KDR tournament series is, of course, Legion Philippines and Intel. Stylish outside. Savage inside. Ano ko nagiging part na siya ng ano eh. Parang <laughs> ang saya niya sabihin eh. Parang ano, roll of the tongue na yun. Hmm. No? Siyempre kasama na rin dito yung Globe at Home because with Globe at Home, you can recreate the world right at home. Wow. Meron rin tayong... <laughs> Powered by X-Split? Powered by X-Split. Na-try mo na ba X-Split? Yeah. Oh, di ba? Maganda rin siya gamitin. Ang isa sa mga features na na-enjoy ko sa X-Split din yung X-Split V-Cam. Maganda siya. Eh, kung hindi mo pa siya na-try, pwedeng ma-blur yung background mo, ma-replace yung background mo. Sobrang linis. So, you hindi don't ko na even kailangan ng green screen. screen. I promise you, hindi mo kailangan ng green screen. Game changer yun. Yeah. Game changer yun. You can try out the free version today. Explit, baka yes. naman. The <laughs> And of course, this event is brought to you by Valorant PH and Valorant Rising. Yes, of course, di ba? Napakaganda na ina-uplift yung local Valorant community. Ang dami nating viewers right now, ang daming supporters. And gusto ko lang paalalanan sa inyo na pwede kayong manalo sa giveaway natin. Just, of course, use the official hashtags that we do have down below in the pinned comment section. Napaka-important na ito, ang official hashtag natin ay... Of- Hashtag step up your game kasi kitang-kita naman natin, totoong nasa step up nga yung game dito. Ayan, so we have giveaways. Are we ready to show the winner for one of our prizes? Ooh! Ooh. Why don't you tell them what they're gonna win first? Ang unang pwedeng mapanalunan is, I believe, an X split for one month. Yes, ilang tao yung mananalo? Sampo. Sampo. So not only one, but 10 lucky winners of one month subscription of Explit licenses. Ooh. So congratulations to Cholo Farin, Brent Hill Suarez, Ron Contado, Miguel de los Reyes, Kyle Gino Bravo, Alexander Ramas, Jerome Tablate, and Hul- Julian Castello. Congratulations, guys! Nanu- Pwedeng, pwede nang pag-stream. Nanood ka lang, panalo ka pa. Siyempre, tapos ako, kung ako yan, ang dami ko pa natutunan sa mga professional players natin. Actually, yun yung pinakamalaking takeaway dito, galawan ng mga matataas na ilaw. Siyempre, kasi tayo na nandito lang sa medyo average na level, dyan tayo matututo. Kasi maraming meta na matutunan dito. Exactly. Pero for now, dagdagan na kaya natin yung learnings natin by shifting to the next game. Feeling ko at uh, I think the next map is gonna be on bind. Ooh, kasi ito yung pinik ng AG Nefarious. So, dahil ba sila ang pumik dito, should we expect them to kind of dominate this round? This game? Siguro, may nakikita sila na advantage sa kanila. Kumbaga, kung alalahanin kasi natin, yung mga ibang teams dito, nagkikita-kita rin sila sa mga scrims. Mm-hmm. So, medyo may background na sila sa isa't isa, na pag-aralan nila yung gameplay of one another. So, maybe sa tingin nila, advantage sa kanila yung pagpili ng bind for the second map. Probably. And to be fair, Bren chose split earlier mm-hmm. and AGN still did fairly well. Yun nga 18. eh. Talagang mag ganun yung laban. Hindi natin that. masasabi kung anong kalalabasan. Pero ngayon, gusto kong tanungin yung casters natin to Dax and Ling. Do you guys think that history will repeat itself? Will this be a Bren Esports win? Or do you think this will be an AG Nefarious win? Dax and Ling, back to you guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks to Cloud Thank Like there. But alam mo, mga, mga questions talaga yung Like eh. Mapapapaisit ka ba? Is this gonna be history repeating itself? Will we see Bren again take the win? Pero parang ling naalala ko na itong bind talaga kung sundun na nalo yung AG Nefarious uh, Bren, di ba? Parang yun, mm, yeah. parang yun, Actually, yes. It, I would definitely have to like point that out here tonight. Because kung makikita natin dito, uh, ngayon gabi, Bren Esports, uh, AG Nefarious once again going up on bind i mean it's not not it's not something that we haven't seen before because we are definitely we actually have seen AJ nefarious defeat friendly sports on towards this map and it actually caught us by surprise i wasn't really expecting was like, oh. that for that 
for that evening and you know seeing it once again i really do hope na may something na hindi pa pinapakita na brand esports na hindi pa pinapakita ng resort brand esports atin so far uh, so far in the games that you've seen coming up from them but you know can age nefarious do it again can age nefarious beat brand esports on towards mind Uh, that's gonna be the question there. Kasi kung tama talaga ang mga team memories, di alam natin na pwede pa rin yung maging possibility. And yung AGN picking the map for good reason. But here we go right now. Brent Esports running the double into the composition. We got Dispenser on his Cypher. Vash on the So Vash. So clean, so good. And we got Borkum gonna be playing the Reach. So this means Ching will be on probably either the Omen or the Brimstone. So there you go, Brimstone. Mas nagiging popular talaga dito sa Bind sa ating local scene. At Dubstep, alam nyo na, it's time to whip out the wins. And nope! Never mind, it's the raise here for him instead. So, more of the choke again for sa Ben dito. It actually is like kind of surprising. Mejo, Mejo, they are implementing quite a few changes so far into Archer lineup. Because you know you did mention a while ago that uh, Brimstone is one of the popular picks so far. Uh, so far on towards like on towards like the tournaments that we've seen so far. Because uh, I do kind of notice that it is, it is actually going to be a really risky one. I might say because uh, we uh, we talked about this before, Dax. Now, when once we could actually consider for uh, Brimstone Smoke, it's always going to be a do or die situation where you always. Have to like execute on the sites that you're planning on taking, and this is where, this is where actually uh put uh puts the uh, like puts the math on to on towards like any equation because that's gonna be making your place a lot more predictable. And I want I really want to see more of Brent Esports plays. Uh, try uh actually try to make this a little more different from now on because I'm pretty sure that they have a lot of tricks up their sleeves because given of like the slight change of their lineup as I like. I would definitely say that it's not just because of the brimstone smokes that we're definitely gonna be seeing. It's more on the race because we're seeing it again and again. But all it, all it, this like Dubs are basically making his way, going in for the entry, creating space for his teammates, securing the frags, and you know, opening up the side for all for his team. But this time around, it just it's it's gonna be a race play. I really want to see how different it is. It gonna be uh this time around, or would this actually affect them so greatly and cost them this map and put this on a one one? You know the irony, donga, is on bind. We always said that that uh, Brent Esports, this was the map that they knew the most. But then suddenly, all of these other teams showing them how it's done on bind itself. Like you have the likes of AG and you have the likes of Anbu. Those are some of the teams that already know how to play a map like this. All about the Dustiness there and then for Agent Fires whipping out the double duelist again between Nexi and version with the Reina and the Jet. Drax Mob on Omen, Real is gonna be playing the Cypher and Kev's on his signature Sova. So Intel versus Intel, pero tada naman dito. AGN talaga, do or die. And not just because this is match rate for Brent, pero ganun naman ang double duelist nila. Live by the Reina, die by the Reina. At tingnan natin kung makakakuha si Nexi ng nakakonsume talaga ng mga kills dito. Kasi Brent Esports, they're gonna be sacrificing that speed for Hoka and Cubby Control. And yet again, it's all about getting the chokes on a map like this. Getting their chokes and of course securing that IG Nefarious at any point of time during their attacking rounds. Uh, hindi talaga nila bibigyan it ano map control. Kasi kung makita natin, given that the only smokes is gonna be allowing them to isolate certain parts of the maps na hindi talaga nila kailan to be in contesting certain angles. That's gonna be like a huge problem for uh Bren, uh like I uh, rather IG Nefarious for like at that point in time. Uh, do talaga natin makita uh for this game. Yeah, here we go. We start things off with Bren on the defense. Agent Farah is gonna be on the offensive instead. At mukhang umpisa pa lang. B-split push na kagad. Ang gagawin natin dito. Cloudburst still gonna be in order. Quick little spot down in the middle of the map. And Dispenser will the first kill there. But it's time for Drax move to get the plant on. And here comes Bren trying to spot this out. Trying to stop things along the way. Pero mukhang AGN na plant na nilang spike. As Bren Esports still has the numbers advantage. Still have the number advantage, and of course, our uh, retic is gonna be still on its way. Given that Nexia is actually gonna be contesting an open angle here, he is gonna get pushed out and flashed out by one. And of course, Drax and Wolverine, good thing that there's gonna be a lineup coming out for Ben Ching. Na kung saan mahapitas pang siya ng dalawa. Although Nexia is still gonna be alive, probably gonna be securing another kill here, but no, not just yet because Ben Ching, 4-3. And the first round going for Bren. And there you have it. Bren will take it. Hey, I'll just back. And there we go with the pistol round ending there. So Bren Esports will be able to take that one pretty well. Kahit mabilis ang take ng AGN. It would still have Bren with the flanks and with the numbers advantage. At kita talaga natin na ang Bren umpisa pa lang malupit na. So good start here para sa Bren. A little bit of a far cry from the last game. At an AGN, they do have to rethink their strat if they do want to make this work. 
they really do want to make this work because this time around being forced uh, being forced on towards the second pistol run on towards the first half mohang they are ma actually going to be trying to play in for trades and possibly going in for the info on towards a short although no one is going to be aggressing on towards that angle just yet they might actually be aware that draximov is going to be, be playing on towards deep mid but so far no aggression coming up from brand esports they're playing a little bit more disciplined so far in the round and seems like this could actually be bad news for draximov you know there's one person with the judge is going to be there to punish him for that uh for that solo take on his own yeah and when you are playing onto the hook uh, you already know that you can actually do some good good damage realist though with the kill at mong dalawang papatay ni no classic jesse vash though with the take down again si nexi sa loob na ng lamps dito at habang nag set up si vash ng mga darts muna mukhang pwede niya malign up ang mga patay dito but there we go with the peaks agn being cheeky with low hp pero habang ngayon ang bren rotate muna dito sa a site they definitely are going to be rotating and waiting for the recon bolt to still be online. Although the Spencer doesn't really need yet to get, even get the info because he's definitely going to be securing another frag for his team. Hussan making the retake actually seemed like pretty easy. And they do make it look clean with good advantage. And that's something that Bren is yeah. able to do here. Kita talaga natin na pumili si ng raise kasi gusto nila sa, sa kanila yung kabi, sa kanila yung mga hookah control. At kitang kita talaga ang AGN. Pag maglakad sila dun, huling huli sila. The problem right now for AGN's roster is they need the jet and the Reina to get some space away from everyone else. The raise itself. Mm -hmm take space and he just had the judge diba? it was just oi hi omen you're dead now and we're gonna see that a lot more often dito sa brand because of that difference in duelist so kitang kita talaga ang plano ng brand itigil ang kan anumang setup ng AGN while AGN is gonna be looking for picks kasi ito na rifles in hand rifles in hand of course possibly a denial here for the aggression and the information is gonna, definitely gonna be kicking in for brand esports given that they're definitely gonna be hearing that drone na kung saan magagaling ang Sova although he is like is going to be contesting for close range engagements once again there's the shock dart who actually tagged him down he's actually down to 85 good thing there's going to be backup recon ball being cancelled out and of course the dispenser could actually go in for the swing although version is going to be there to punish dubstep in the process and the dispenser will get the answer back dubstep though walking into that one at good holder parky version pero lugi pa rin ang agn dito at sabi na bren oy agn you know you have beaten us once before here but you're not going to be doing it again so far for two to zero still a good chance here para sa AGN because they do have good control on a side. Per ingat ingat lang dito si Draxima Phantom in hand going over to lamps might be a default plant there behind the APC here for the side of AG Nefarious with Realist moving closer and closer to the site. Closer and closer to the site that Mohang magkakatagpuan pa nga tayo dito. Given that the Heaven player could actually spot up one coming out from this push. And there's going to be Borkum picking up one. Traximo possibly going for the flash and the play against the planter here. Although he's going to be spraying on towards the cyber cage. Definitely going to be tagging off one and possibly be anticipating the angle. But Dispenser with the crossbar and of course securing another kill for this round. Dispenser able to do that there. And Bren Esports with a 3-0 lead. Now, AGN, they have good ideas on what they want to do, but they have to respect the composition of Bren Esports now. You can see that they're still alive, and Dubsev just breaks in the shotgun, and suddenly you are dead. And they have to be more careful of that coming into the next few rounds. Definitely really have to be more careful around that because kung titingnan natin dito talks when terms of like the economy although age in the fire is actually got the bomb plant but it's still gonna be making them uh being forced out on towards a shaky 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 situation uh for their economy where they're not gonna be able to even invest so much on towards around sheriff spy is definitely gonna be online co coming out from them once again satchel place possibly and going in for the peak on towards bit but dubstep is gonna be a little bit too smarter than that it's not actually wise for you to actually give out your gun and put this one on a firepower advantage for AG Nefarious. Bren, I have Jesse Vashto. He's actually going in for the drone play to actually scout for more information on whatever's happening on towards B long. They're not going to be letting anyone go in for the open angles here, but Dobstep being traded off really quickly coming out from that play. Sneer on that, Mohang Iko commit dito, and they're definitely going to go in for that uh, commitment on towards B side. Even Dobstep getting picked off there still shows that Bren is so confident to play close, but yun talaga yun. AGN with the proper punish. At ngayon, meron na silang isang barrel para sa take nila dito sa B-side. But Jesse Bash pulling by the elbow. He gets one, he gets two. He's looking for the lineup even more. Version though in behind, but Borkum is keeping an eye out. 
And Jesse Vaz says, this is a line you cannot cross. Brand Esports kayan 4-0 to zero ang kanilang lead. And ito talaga, good start para dito sa Brand Esports AGN. Parang huwag natin sila pumasok ng kabi kasi kahit man, mapatay na si Dubset. Marami pa nag doon sa B-site. Marami talaga nag para sa kanila doon. It was definitely a bad push coming out from them uh, for that B-side execute. But ito talaga mahihirapan tayo, Dax. Because, you know, for that round alone, they didn't have, like, any setup so far for anti-flags. And basically, no information on what, whatever's happening on towards, like, the other parts of the map. It's actually a do-or-die situation coming out from them. And, you know, it's a risk that they're actually willing to take. And honestly, there's literally nothing much that they could definitely lost coming out from them, right? Given the sheriffs na madin binibigin nila, the most of the could do coming out from that is actually inflict enough damage on towards their economy like for the opposing team yeah, it really is has hurt them where it counts but brent esports right now gonna get blinded but they already got that first pick off and ag nefaris not giving up on b site whatsoever can they force it out no bash is still holding strong and holding close and this is really just how clustered they can play borkum also doing the same confidence level para dito sa brent sobrang taas na confidence man talaga sila ngayon 4v2 setup as version now creeping closer and closer to the site pero with a cubby hold there for dubstep alam na na hindi niya makita for the time being and Kevs yeah, and the Prince of Ching will meet each other in pitch combat it's Ching now on the board there definitely gonna be on the board and of course version being the one left off here and of course a really quick kill coming out from dubstep you know what, what, what's the interesting here uh what, what's the interesting thing here so far in the round is that brand esports actually tried to familiarize themselves for what on towards the timing uh whenever and wherever aging nefarious is definitely gonna be aggressing because so far on towards their mid takes in their attempts that they're trying to take out or uh, or take out uh hookah control uh they actually tried to uh, no, Work out on the time is kinda papansin mo like kanina na parati sila na caught off guard with that ano unorthodox push unorthodox peaks na hindi talaga na anticipate ng Agent Nefaris coming out from those rounds and dun talaga sila na completely punished because masadu sila naging kapati that Huka was like sabiin talaga natin anticipate that it is gonna be open but jokes on you there's gonna be one who's gonna be peaking just in right just in the right timing yeah this is just a lack of respect right now for AGN in terms of the call position but as I say that there we go with AGN going for A site instead and honestly this is the decision that they do right this time look how clean they wipe out brand esports there should get a spike plan and brand esports probably gonna be playing eco here because i think i'm gonna get cypher can one your stuff now says okay i'm packing up i'm going home i ain't gonna be dealing with this stuff dispenser gonna be setting up here by the garden but now we have time to discuss this comp link at kita talaga natin with the raise with the brim with the breach and the sova and the, even the cypher that brand esports is just denying so much areas from agn and agn areas it'll be better them to go for some Something like A site for to go for something like B long instead. Because they need it, nila. Ilang beses ang huka at sumabog sa kanila mukha dahil don. Mm -hmm. So magbuk talaga at mga wala pa silang mapapasabog so far uh Umbra and Esports to for this time around kasi given na kung makikita natin di here uh, uh ma we are definitely going to be anticipating a slow paced uh slow paced play na ginagagaling for uh Brand Esports this time around it's not going to be the usual aggressive plays na makikita natin for dubstep na sabihin talaga natin na uh, this could actually uh is going to be like letting them uh cost another round uh, cost like a round for them yeah Agent of Paris finally finding their form and doing the, the right decision here going over to a site realizing what to do at yun talaga yun eh kailangan gawin ng AG na Faris ang mga strengths nila rather than their weaknesses and it really shows us na dito sa Valorant ang mga agent picks sobrang importante you can go to places that you've never been dahil dun sa mga setup nyo and vice versa na mapapatigil yung kalaban and just the raise right now versus the Jet and the Reyna two different ideologies two different kind of setups para sa ating mga duelists pero ito na yan si Ching looking to play against B-Long there's gonna be a triple stack to on the A side kasi alam na ng Bren na kailangan nila hold Yan, versus the dispenser. Nasa loob siya nung teleporter dito. How did he actually do that? He's just being sneaky. And this might be a big surprise sa ating jet. Cause here we go with the peak. And version gonna be going on down. Next on the list might be Kevs here. He goes through the cage, goes for the duel. But Kevs will take it 4v4 ngayon. 
taking it <coughs> taking it a 4v4 and it's quite unusual like it, i'm starting to question bakit pa, paano siya nakapasok doon na hindi pa siya naririnig ng mga mid players who were aggressing on towards soka it's quite unusual for them to not actually hear yeah. that type of information na kinakailangan nila and doon talaga sila papunish eh. that was two people being uh, two people being tagged down two people being left out and bukong this is going to be costing them possibly another run for age nefarious although how their sphere being committed is going to be picking off one and after to be nexi na mukhang mapipitas ng soba nat mito we are definitely going to be seeing a play here on towards b side branching is definitely going to be it's definitely going to be tagged down coming out from the spray on towards the smoke it seems like ag nefarious have left. their plans and eyes on towards them be execute here this time around yeah finally they're going to be able to get a proper execute there but the orbital strike will say tama na plant chan ching will buy time pero lugi pa sila kasi ito pa rin ang ag nefarious up by three and there will be having another pick off there vash going to be going on that borkum now coming in through the hookah here but as of the moment sabi ni breach tama na yan rotate muna dyan quite low na ang ating sova pero kaya ba ni Moore kung patayin ang tatlo dito? Mukhang makakaya because of course the clutch is here. I definitely am gonna be expecting Borkum because he's not the player that is definitely going to be underestimated on this round. We are definitely gonna be seeing seeing him uh, pushing on towards the guard but 30 HP. Matapir. It could possibly not be much to actually contest for at least one but you know winning a few duels here and there playing yourself in the on off angles could possibly be able for yourself to actually secure a few frags here and there and pretty much deny anyone for the exit on towards garden but bad news on him wala pong lalabas dyan, and it's just gonna be the safe for you sir. Yeah, time to get the hell out of there with the TP but Ren Esports losing that one again Age and Nefarious finding the picks that they need and they do get the takedowns to get that round the big one there was actually catching out the Brimstone nung nahuli si Ching wala na yung push niya past the Orbital Strike because that could have bought time that could have been a scenario parang yung nakita natin na split na it's Ren Esports playing for the objective itself pero Dispenser ha with, with something very cheeky there first time ko nakita yan in quite a while just bigla ano lang na may cipher dun at pansin talaga na ngayon, na dito ang AGN nag when we finally get the kills that they need when they finally get the punishment that they're looking for that is when they can do really good things kaya nga nag na sila eh. isang pitas kaya isang katutak talaga makukuha nila isang katutak po at possibly gonna be another one uh, sabihin talaga natin another possibly a stray coming up from AG Nefarious this time around on towards Pine because you know kung makikita natin how Bren Esports are gonna be trying to hold off their ground so far eh, parang medyo nagiging shaky sila this time around which is I'm not really uh, used to actually seeing I'm really parang so far in the game parang medyo nagiging confident ako sa mga plays na ginagawa nila but makikita natin dito it's just basic uh, AG Nefarious trying to read the heck on whatever is happening on towards the game but we are definitely not going to be anticipating that uh, showstopper na being committed on towards Wukat mo isa na lang po ang matitira and that's going to be Kev's being the last one to fall down clean round there para sa Brent Esports 6-2 ang ating scoreline at alam mo linok ba ko muna yung last round ling and I saw the play with the Cypher alala natin si Dispenser nakapasok ng TPA they actually used the Aldro there from Jesse Vash to open up that door and he just went through the smoke so interesting play <laughs> ng mga Brent Esports talaga but they keep it simple that round and they are able to be successful there really putting up the fight against AGN at kitang kita talaga natin na sobrang confident ang Bren Esports mag push kahit san man dito sa bind dahil sa comp nila pero ngayon AGN saying okay we know A site is where we can prosper we know A site is where we can get some space they're gonna get, try to do it again over to A short pero double, double shower hold dito para sa Bren Esports ngayon double shower hold and possibly trying to keep each other alive this time around they're trying basically trying to stall everyone who's going in for that execute it seems like so much utilities are being committed so far and that's gonna be leaving Borkum with just one flash and so far his teammates are actually just gonna be swarming on towards the side pretty cheeky angle here and there's gonna be the wall bank coming out from Nexi picking off one putting this one in a 4v5 retake and of course Thub Sap is could possibly be able to even get the frag with that jet swing that happened just just now but seems like version is gonna be hitting his shots this time yeah here we have it spike though planted down and as you said version with the shots there but real is gonna be pushing on forward this fence goes down real gets two perfect line up there by our cypher but he doesn't realize the fire is behind it at grabe yung apoy talaga tumatago sa pader 1v3 though para sa ating brimstone kaya ba niya makahuli dito ng cypher trip are gonna be going on down ching will get three so far he's looking for the ace he's looking for the clutch can he get it here and now kevs will say no he's not gonna be getting that one. Si Kevs ng maka ace muna sa series na to. At AGN will get another round here. 6-3 do ang score natin ngayon. 
will be getting another round and of course giving enough uh savings on their credits this time around because he's securing uh, possibly securing or denying uh brand esports to uh win one more game or rather win one more round this could possibly be bad news in terms of like whatever whatever's left to their state like, whatever's left to their economy because this is going to be a like one round that san mapipilitan talaga sila to go in for the reset and possibly go in and force themselves on towards like back towards territory like may hirapan talay to actually determine wherever the momentum may be as of the moment because uh this is like the really the, re the really big ones that could possibly be a huge impact on how the rounds are gonna go how this game is gonna go for both brent esports and ag nefarious yeah it really is all about that pace and guys remember we are live on facebook and, and twitch facebook.com slash foundph.gg at twitch.tv slash foundph.gg kung may problema kayo sa check mo yung kabila and alam mo madali lang yan isang refresh ng okay ka na talaga sa ating stream dito pero mukhang brent esports holding close again at ayan na naman si dubstep alam na alam talaga niya dito ang pwesta niya pero he has to back out now because in a shock start siya medyo nakitatan ang kanyang paa has to get away AG Endo losing one already pero low HP kaagad ang Bren dito sa showers rin at Borkum even catching out one by the cubby there sa short Cubby there by the short and of course there could, there could possibly another there could possibly be another play here on towards uh a side but it's bad news it's definitely gonna be bad news for them you know this ching dito makakalaso pa nga ng isa we're gonna be left with the omen and the uh, sova here who is gonna be going in for the play although they're not gonna be committing for the smokes or even anything just yet because you know the traffic sila contact play it more it's not gonna be successful because the, the spike planter is not gonna be going towards any point of the site jesse bash holding the angle on towards heaven wang makakuha pa nga siya ng patay tracks him of getting off one paranoia played but no one is going to be there for contesting for you holes borkum is just right behind your side and borkum is just someone you can rely on in the first place well played there by brent esports again getting another round at kita talaga natin na nag step up talaga ang a site defense ng brent nakahanap siya ng paraan doon sa may shower getting the flanks in the first place and ancient faris right now do need to shake it off because they need to make sure that this is going to be a good half for them their defense right now going to be looking to use the jet and the reina later on pero ngayon they still need some rounds they still need some score or pwede sila tambakan ng brent dito sa half na to they honestly need a lot more because you know it, ma Honestly, mas pabor talaga sa lineup nila maging attacker side once again. But seems like here they're having a hard time once again. It's not really uh, it's pretty unusual pala na makita natin natin dito. Although dubstep is gonna be completely punished from that. Good thing there's gonna be a trade na mangyari coming out from team uh, AGN. It's a four v four. B side is on the way. It seems like the spender is spraying and spraying behind the cyber cage. Wang he's not gonna be able to tag down just one. Of course, Jesse Bash with the close and cheeky angle onwards and begin. Wang he is gonna be able to get at least one frag from that. Yeah, he is gonna be able to get that initial pick off there, but here we go now with Borkum catching out Kevs instead. Ching gonna be getting on the board as well. Realist though, makapitas pa rin. At high ground talaga para sa ating breach per si Nexi na lang nag-iisa. Alam natin tong Rey na talaga ang makapatay ng iba, pero hindi si Ching ang magkasabi. No sir, pasok ko muna sa black hole dyan. Brent right now, 8-3 dominating this defense. 8-3, and that's gonna be the last round for the half na makikita natin just like right in front of us. Of course, uh, so far, uh, mahirapan talaga nat makikita natin ng Agent of Force because mapipilita naman sila uh, to even play for the awkward bias that we're definitely seeing on towards the screen guard and by coming out from Nexi. And he definitely have to make those shots count. There. He definitely has to make those openings for his team because so far, uh, it's not going to be really uh, doing so good coming out from them. Possibly an aggressive play coming out from Red Esports here on towards A short. And that's going to be really favorable coming out from them. Yeah, and Borkum going to be holding close here we go with Agent of Firestone whipping out the shares I think natin yung one top junkie Jesse Bash Kev's going to be also getting the kill with the Spectre so half by situation din malapitan ang laro ng AGN at sabi nila tulok na lang natin let's just go for it and Bren Esports honestly not expecting something that simple it's just like hey that's one hey that's two hey that's three hey that's a dash and you cannot just handle all of those guns but the Spencer is there on the high ground Neural Theft right now to get the intel at oh alam nila umabot yung intel dun sa TP so papunta na Serial is a B-side, but booking na kagad siya. Trip are gonna be there. Camera says hello, and Bren Esports knocking on his door. Brand Esports knocking on their door on towards a 1v2, playing for the cyber cage. It's gonna be realist. Little that he's noticed someone is gonna be dubstep. Nabuhang aabang niya sa corner na yan. Of course, possibly the winning, but nope. 
Dispenser turns right back in in time to kill you off. And he's Please. taking his sweet time. He's taking his sweet time. There's no one else he can spectate. So there you go. Dispenser smiles all around. And oh, he's going to do it again. He's going to oh. do it again. <laughs> Hi, oh, dispenser, no. dispenser, dispenser. Someone stop this man. Ninth three though at Bren Esports. They are feeling this win. They are feeling the 2 0 here to make it to the grand finals. Pero ito na talaga. Switching AGN. Stops. In all honesty, from what we've seen so far from AG Nefarious, ilang beses na sila naka comeback dahil sa depensya. Pero yun talaga yun. Yung scoreline ngayon, baka talaga, it might be too much to handle there. We'll find out though as Nefarious is going to be swapping over to the other side. Swapping over on towards the other side. Kung makita natin dito, uh, yung parang it's kind of unusual that like, Agent Nefarious has been more successful when it comes to like defending side. Even though naka double duel sila, aggressive plays. Parang mas nakita ko talaga na mas effective sa kanila playing as defender plus like the aggressive plays na ginagawa nila, which I don't really understand. How is that gonna be making sense for them? Because honestly, that's gonna be putting uh that's gonna, that could possibly even put uh brand parang malilimit talaga yung mga options sa magagawa ng agent fires when it comes to their like plays. Because parang madali, mas madaling ma narrow down ang mga abilities, mas madaling ma down, ma ma down ang mga strats na possibly mo magagawa given on what well, like, what level of play na lang kaya mo gagawin like as a team. Yeah, first in next don up in the sa Liman Jan dubs up in the meantime gonna be able to get that kill on the version as well. And Brandy Esports already a quick execute on the A side. Nexi though will get that kill. Finds the Devar orb and will be trying to get that armor down. And there you go again. Really that Reina scary with the Devar sa unang run talaga for si Jesse Vash na Jamaka Patay. Kevs though above. He's gonna get the kill as well. Pero ito na 1v1 setup. First spike is done. So ikat muna dita si Dispenser. Papunta na rin si Kevs looking for the defuse. Aabot siya ba? Aabot ba si Dispenser? Halfway done. Here goes the peek onto the cubby and Ooh. Kevs will clutch it from the top rope to the bottom there. Definitely a clutch that you're gonna be seeing. That was a really oh, 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 those oh, were actually really back. clean shots. Uh, <laughs> that's oh, that the right yeah, thing to do, yeah. Kevs. I, I give you a big thumbs up there. Pero grabe talaga <laughs> yung pagka clutch don ni Kevs. Pero kita tayo natin na si Nexi, he was basically the tank in that round link. Kasi the long best siya na kadevar. Everyone had to focus him just to get that takedown, and it bought space for Kevs to actually pop off in that pistol round. Mm, definitely, uh, a, definitely a good hold coming up from Nexi so far because you know, don't talaga sila medyo medyo na walang or nada divert talaga intention just for killing that Reina alone, and that has definitely bought enough time uh, for AG Nefarious to even go for the full ro rotate so far in that game or so far in that round rather. Na kung saan that bought them enough time to actually win that round. May kita mo naman don. Uh, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty good that they have tried to keep each other alive as much as they could, and that actually paid off really well because that clutch from Kevs was definitely something that I that's really satisfying to see and that is gonna be that really but here we go now with Bren Esports at least spamming a few darts here and there to try to find someone hiding para sa AGN but alam natin talaga ang AGN ang may advantage ngayon sa guns nila there we have the Omen Smoke by the Showers though. And we'll see if Draxmove can hold this with one Paranoia because he's been really doing a good job so far in the series. Can he do it again? Three coming his way, sees the White Hat, gets it stained with blood instead. Here comes the Blind! Counter Blind is there! And grab a white screen versus the Darkness. We know Borkum is just running in to try and get the near side and shot. Vera Ayan Parin's version holding the line. Mala Yuan Gambit on Spectre. And Age in Fire shows that, hey, the defense is where they can truly shine. Defense is where they have definitely been shining so far. Kahit sa split, nakikita natin yung Dax. Makikita mo, ta makikita mo naman talaga is that they definitely know when to be when are they're supposed to be aggressing so far. Uh, AGN actually showed themselves na kung kailan, uh, marunong talaga sila, marunong, marunong talaga sila when it comes to like, the timing, when and when to, when and where to actually back off. Hindi, hindi talaga nila kinakailangan mag-assim na, you know, sasabihin talaga natin na uh, mag-practice mag talaga. Kailangan, kailangan talaga na mag-practice and discipline not, not not necessarily just pug their way in wipe up wipe out anywhere in like anyone inside like and on their on towards their path kasi doon talaga sila mapapunish so far and makita natin dito yung positioning talaga doon talaga nag pay off so well na kung saan they're gonna be denying the trades they're gonna be denying anyone na kung saan they think that the angle is gonna be completely open for them to even secure a kill 
Yeah, but the angles right now are going to be opened up on B site. There we go. Dubstep using his utility to secure it and just gets the wall bang. Headshot, not the realist. A little bit of intel there goes a long way. And that is just going to be an amazing shot there by Brand Esports. Asian Fire is still looking to come together yet again. Version now with the answer back on the dub. And there we do have the split push at the same time. But I'm going to wait for our ating cypher on A site. But it's not going to be able No, never mind. It's going to be the rotate in order. They open up B to say we're going A. For si Nexi Ang. naghahawak dito at isang pitas lang pwede siya makahanap na iba pang baril makakuha pa nga siya ng iba pang baril dito at makakuha pa nga siya ng info which is gonna be really useful in terms of like securing at least one kill although Cheng is gonna be we are very much effective with the Vandal this summer on Draximov playing towards CT and of course he's gonna be securing for that one kill na kinakailangan nila dispenser with a really close angle here possibly be able to secure an easy kill on towards the Omen and there we have it Oh, uh, that! Oh, 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 oh! oh no. Okay, so the Spencer, he is just saying everyone is a difference here. Pero kanina nata na yung he got answered back by Kevs. Tingnan natin daw kung if this is gonna be an actual motivation para sa Agent of Fires na is sweep bigla ang half na ito. 10 to 5 though, and we've seen the scenario before. Na Agent of Fires, they are really good at taking rounds, but. By a score like like this, they might actually lose some steam because of the pressure. We'll see though, because Brand Esports right now gonna have their buy still in order. Some light armors along the way. Agent Faris in the meantime will be looking to hold the same way. An aggression here for version, and it's immediately the judge executing dispenser on the spot. Nexi also covering out the market side. There we have the flash though, and AGN with the first pick off there, and dubstep answers back against Kebs. Answered back indeed because alam talaga niya na sobrang mahirapan talaga sila with that aggression na pinapakita na so far coming out from AG Nefaris because they know that it's playing out so far and good thing there's gonna be dubs of who is gonna be playing in for the trade although he is gonna be punished with that ano denial coming out from Nexi playing on towards Hookah. No show stopper para sa yo wala talagang papasabugin dito ay Brent sneaky peeky si Ching at mo hindi siya nakita. Infiltration successful. Para kiching at si Borkum. Speaking of, Sharon ay isa pang sneaky boy tipi do in order. And Borkum can take this opportunity to catch up Draxima by surprise. The noise of the teleporter there saying to AGN that someone went to the other side. And speaking of that one though, Ching looking to rotate around Cave, but at the same time, Nexi is there. It really goes to show though that these two teams know each other very well. Na meron silang idea kung saan dadaan ang parehong side. Saan talaga dadaan? Pati sa good thing may trip war pa yung kasama natin na Cypher just a while ago on towards that A-short push na kung saan that would possibly be giving anyone the information that they need na may tao na nanggagaling from A-short. But seems like here, the positioning sa nakikita natin coming out from coming out from the Brimstone and the Breach, honestly, sobrang confusing, is gonna be one anticipating a push coming out from CT. Yeah, they look the same though. Like, ako rin eh, parang if it's been a joke for so long but version gonna be actually getting the kill on the Big burly man there. Look, to stay alive and the last man standing here for Borkum and the rolling thunder but there we go with the dash earth versus wind who can actually make it happen the sky or the thunder there onto the ground and the blades are gonna connect Kita talaga gravity is not your friend but version will say I can control it and I can get this diffuse to make it a 10 to 6 scoreline that was just a tiny angle that he had to contest for. Hindi pa niya nakuha. Sobrang, sobrang risky talaga playing as a breach given like gano'ng katagal ng channeling time ng mga utilities mo, mga utilities mo na ginagamit. And it seems like you literally have little to no time to switch back onto your gun. And dun talaga napapanish kanina ang breach just a while ago coming out from that play. Just... No, uh, the dash was perfect, and then the pixels <laughs> onto the blades. He got enough verticality there to see the breach, and that was that. Kita talaga. Kaya the earth and the air, they have this weird little kind of connection. But in the end, it's not going to be an avatar state there for Borkum. It's going to be the jet of version getting the takedown instead. But here we go again. 10 to 6 ngayon. Orbital strike para sa Bren. At alam natin talaga, gamit ng brimstone, you can stall for so much with just the molly and the beams. Definitely going to be trying to stall this game so far, but they are definitely going to be giving you the info that someone is solo playing on towards that backside position. Although the smoke is going to be denying information coming out from the elbow players, Kevstow 
playing on a really crouchy spot here. Mukhang magkakaspray down pa nga siya sa isa. Mukhang isa pa nga bipitas niya. Good thing there's gonna be Dispenser who's playing on towards backside, holding on towards his crown and possibly gonna get another kill on towards Suka. Spike is nowhere near him at this point. Plays out for the new roll tap and Mukhang is gonna be getting that headshot on towards Sexy. And of course, the sidesteps coming on from the Omen. One B one scenario. Dispenser could actually be uh, aware of this. Oh, Dispenser has an idea because he did get blinded, and as soon as he saw that, the omen was gone. So he's going around and around. He made it clutch already in a one v three scenario. Just needs to get one more pick off, and Dispenser will do it. He gets four. And if you weren't paying attention, you would think that he was the one defending there. Oh, no. But no, sir. <laughs> he will get the tactical crouches that he needs. He will say that's the difference when you have me on my air team. And there you go, Dispenser, just dispensing all those kills again. Again and again, 11 to 6 ngayon, Bren Esports 2 away from moving on to the Grand Finals. 2 away and moving on towards the Grand Finals, and of course, Mukhang, I know, this could possibly be a lot of pressure coming out, I, like, for uh, AG Nefarious this time around, because if you can see it here, the defending side is not na, na going to work. Any point of aggression, even if you get at least 2 kills out of that, uh, I just really want to, ano, I, you just really got to expect a lot more from your team, like, defending for like, the other side of the map. If they are really playing passively, this is where Brent Esports actually decides to actually strike, and this is where we they actually and do nakikita ng errors do nakikita ng butas on where they should be playing around and this is where actually uh this is actually where Bren like proves that they're going to be the better team this uh, for, like better team for this game because they have learned their lesson how AG Nefarious actually plays this game on Bind and nakita mo they've done their homework and they and they are actually not letting AGN win anymore and that was just clutch like AG Nefarious did an amazing job that round they got the pickoffs they got the angles and they got the flanks but surprise surprise the Spencer says you know I'm Cypher I can kind of solo hold this side you are just putting me in my element but here comes Realist not pushing forward Bork comes up keeping an eye out and Jesse Bash the Spencer will go down to his hand Okay, Bren Esports, uh, sabi nila, okay, we'll, we'll get an extra kill para kay Dispenser. I think it's a tactical timeout para kay Dispenser. Tama na raw, T-Bag, sabi ng in-game leader nila. But Borkum, gonna be able to get the kill on the next. He drags him off though with surprise. 8 HP and a dream. Si Chingdo mapapit na si Kevs. Oh, the whiff! It's a whiff that actually does. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. In the end, though, Bren will still win it. Funny though to see Dispenser die there, but it was already the writing on the wall. Eco round yun para sa AG and para makapaglaban dito sa round na ito. Match point now. AG and Faris need six in a row to force out overtime. Six in a row to force out overtime, but they really chose to play AG and Dust. Because given on, like, how much they invested, they didn't force by. They actually saw this coming. Believe na believe talaga sila believed because it is actually still a lot more doable coming up from them. Defending, they really need to like, like, to actually pick up the pace. Because this is something that Brent Esports have been actually been used to on how they play this on a defending side. And they really didn't punish so easily. But if we see it it's going to be a really default setup coming from Brent Esports. Just going to be going in for the pick so far because they are definitely aware of the aggressive play that is done by AG Nefarious. And there we go. Awareness is there indeed. But Kev still catches out Ching along the way. Hides inside the smoke. Gets rid of that in so quickly. But Borkum in the meantime with a kill on the Nexi as well. Shut down na naman kay Nexi. Kita talaga pag green na ka. You need to get that pick off or you're gonna get picked off so easily. And here we go again. Bren now moving over to A side. Looking to plant behind the APC here. Hmm, they are definitely going to be going and forcing this one out on the three-man retake, but it's going to be left for the two people here, Jet and Sova. Mukhang dispenser po makapitas ng isa. Although virtually is creeping his way on towards the side, being flashed out, mukhang wala pa siyang mahihit na shots doon. Although they are going to be trying to uh, no, secure enough angles here, but it's not going to be enough people for them to play around with. Pag kung sino na natin dito, there's going to be the swing, recon ball, getting the information that they need, and mukhang they are going to be forcing this one out. Goes in for the tap on towards the spike, at mukhang they're not gonna be knowing rolling in thunder being committed there's a spray down killing off one and of course leaving leaving this on a 1v1 situation although it's gonna be dubstep who's gonna be playing this out it's gonna be not enough time for the sova to actually go in for the defuse sova is gonna be letting off the doing it again this around and actually and Spencer. that's that oh, Kevs no. will get four but brand esports will win it out by objective dubstep taunting his opponent like hit me brother hit me but it just doesn't happen and a good play there from agent fires to try and go for the retake. Kita talaga yung lineup nun nung 
pagbalik nila doon sa may site pero yun talaga yun it really was just Brent Esports getting the picks at the right time and what a great shutdown there by Brent on Bind it's revenge in a small package and Brent Esports they move on to the grand finals they take care of their biggest rivals so far in the PH scene Agent of Fire is gonna be battling for that third place later on pero grabe talaga that series that game Brent Esports dominating AGN coming back on the defense but again score disparity too big to handle it was definitely too big to handle and you know makikita talaga natin dito uh brand esports really didn't see any point in time na papabibigyan pa nila ang ag nefarious giving out another map and actually waste their time this time around because what's the point of putting this on the map three if you know your team is going to be fully capable of shutting them down because alam na alam nyo na paano sila maglalaro hindi nila hindi nila to. they're not supposed to be committing any errors at this point because this is this is basically their comp like this is basically their revenge they're not gonna be letting uh letting history happen again you know history repeats itself no Bernie sports is not gonna let it happen and pinakita na sa atin ngayong gabi and you know i am definitely not disappointed with what i've seen so far it was amazing pretty amazing series but hey what we from saw from brand esports their defense really showing the difference in composition kita talaga na agn mm -hmm. wanted to play space pero brand wanted to play close and they showed it in split and they show it here on by na yun yung parang best picks nila eh. pag napilita nila yung kalaban sa mga iba't ibang spots or parang oi come into the funnel it's it's safe this tunnel is good no worries and suddenly there's a shotgun to your face that's the brand esports way right now that we're seeing so far that's how they have just adjusted to the breach that's how they've been really playing the race at kita talaga nas, mas nagiging more dimensional ang Brenda Heldon Ling. Mm, sobrang effective nila around that play na kung saan may kita mo on how uh, on how many strats or how many plays that are actually uh, do around that. May kita mo naman na akala mo naman talaga uh, like they're gonna be contesting for the all-out duels na gustong ilalabas ng gustong ilalabas ng double, double duelist setup na nanggagaling from AG Nefarious. Hindi nila ibibigay yun kasi alam nila na kinakailangan talaga ng openings ng AG Nefarious upang makakuha ng site. And you know, they Let's just say, alam nila how AG Nefarious plays, and pinakita nila sa atin nun that they're gonna be the better team this time around. And dun, dun talaga, close range engagement, sobrang effective against like a against like a play like that for a lineup like that. And Brent Esports, once again, ang you know. So very effective. And they just they just do it really well. And a good shutdown there against AG. And kita lang natin sa split. Everyone on AG and Fire is firing on all cinders. Dito naman sa ating bind map. Even though we had some good showings here and there, the duelists just weren't able to get the pick offs that they need. Live by the Reina, die by the Reina. And AG and Fire is dying by the Reina there. If you can't see Nexus pop off like Nexi rather pop off like crazy, you already know na ang galing niya magduelist. Pero yung shutdown potential ng Bren. Mashadong too much to handle, and that was really just that. Brandy Sports just doing it a little bit better there in terms of the comp, showing them the difference on what the agents was. And from the get go, parang yun draft palang dun na yung dun na yung difference maker there. So Ling, anything else you want to say about that match? Mm, anything else? Mahirapan talaga sila Dax. Yeah, and that's for that's a that. player like Nexi, de ba? For a player like Nexi, I'm quite confident in as well. Uh, fragging potential, yes. But what if ang ginago ng brand esports is basically not laying out the frags for you? Na alam natin ng Reyna yung abilities niya is solely reliant on that. Kapag kung gusto mo magdevar, gusto mo magdismiss, kailangan mo nang pumatay, which is something na hindi talaga minibigay ng brand esports. And dun talaga na dadaling team na AG na Farius. They're not getting the openings. And dun talaga sila. Uh, uh, ground, uh, especially on their attacking side. And honestly, so, yeah. such an amazing series. A great game one and a statement and game number two. Before we go over to second semifinal, we'll be tossing you back to our host. So take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Dax and Ling. Ayan, guys, I think we just met our first grand finalist. Congratulations to, to Bren Esports. E there we go, guys. And the bomb is with the salaman and Josh. Uh, this is the kind of gameplay I expected from Bren. Like from the <laughs> get go, eto na ex expect ko sa kanila and they did and they had a lot of fun. Especially dun sa mga tibagging. Oh oh, I just go. Mama yan natin. I push natin to sorry, a little sorry. bit Next later. Next set ako. Yeah. Next set ako. Kasi <laughs> parang yun yung highlight ng game. Pagkusapan talaga natin Sige. yun eh. Pero um, pagkusapan natin yung score. Nung pinili, kasi yung Agent Nefarious yung pumili ng bind. Fine. So, ina-expect natin na, okay, this might be an advantage for them. Mm -hmm. Pero no, pinapakita ng Bren na, we're versatile. Pinili man namin yung split kanina, kahit padalhin nyo kami sa bind, no problem. And alam nyo, 
Huwag na tayong pumuntang Haven. Solved na kami dito. Tapusin na natin dito. Yes, sir. Eh, hindi lang basta tapusin. Like, they stomped their opponent actually. Dominated. Ayun. Which brings us to Dispenser. <laughs> Ang nagsimula ng lahat. Pero, in in true game, esports yeah. fashion, yeah. diba? nakakatawa naman siya panoorin. It's very entertaining to watch. And, hindi lang yun. The other team was very good sport good about sport, it, yeah. diba? Sumagot din sila. Dumating siya sa point na parang, uh, dude, I, 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 kinda, I think, I kind of feel like, parang medyo mahirap na itong labanan. Let's just have fun, di ba? Yeah. Bumiyan na lang natin, when, when I get to kill you, dispenser, patay ka sa akin. Oh, tipong ganun. Pumanda <laughs> ka. Mm. Parang pansin ko talaga eh, pag nanalo ng rounds yung AJ Nefarious, hahanapin yung Cypher. Hahanapin <laughs> si dispenser. just ko po. So, dispenser, kung sino man makakalaban ng brand esports mamaya maghanda na kayo maghanda kasi na kayo. feeling ko magsisimula na naman yan si dispenser so magingat-ingat na kayo pero ngayon what do you think is it time to discuss more giveaway prizes I think it is time All right What's so next? Ano bang let's next? go Um eto meron pa rin tayong mga prizes to give away later on mm-hmm. katulad na lang ng 500 pesos worth of GCash Oh no, wala may Ay. keyboard My keyboard, Legion K500 gaming keyboard. Yan, better. Kasi naiwan kanina yung gaming headset. Eh, hindi naman natin kasama tama, yan tama, today. Tama, Dapat tama, hindi tama, makalimutan. Tama, tama, tama. So, ngayon pala, this round, this round, ang ipapamigay natin is Gcash worth 500 pesos. Tatlong ganyan. Mm-hmm. Dalawang Legion. And... Are we announcing the winners already? Are we? Ah, Not hindi after pa. the break. Pamamaya pa. So, so, meron pa silang chance sumali? Last chance to join for the GCash and the gaming mouse today. Yeah. Yon naman pala. Ayan, clarified na guys. So kung gusto nyo manalo ng mga premium to, you know what to do. Just check out our pinned comment down below on how you can join. Napakadali lang guys. Yep. Just use the hashtag. Kasi kung nunod ka lang dyan, type ka lang. Tapos mamaya may mouse ka na. Yes, exactly. Diba? Pero yun nga, hindi naman magiging possible itong mga giveaways natin, mm-hmm. itong tournament natin, mm-hmm. if it weren't for the help of our sponsors. So, Josh, bakit hindi ikaw ang unang magpasalamat? <laughs> Siyempre, ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. Actually, ito yung pinaka-memorable memorable part. Because the official PC partner for KDR Tournament Series, Legion, Philippines, and Intel. Mm-hmm. Itong line na to talaga, very, very, ano siya eh, very... Tumatak na sa utak mo, Significant no? siya eh. Parang, stylish outside, savage inside. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang Ganda iba, eh. Iba yung dating niya iba talaga eh. Iba yung level, eh. oo. Oh. Pag narinig mo yan, oh. That sounds spicy. Actually, yung sasabihin mo na sa sunod, maganda rin siya eh. Aba, syempre. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang sasabihin ko ay Globe at Home. With Globe at Home, you can recreate the world right at home. Diba? Perfect na perfect Parang, sa pandemic life kasi karamihan sa atin, stuck at home. With Globe at Home, you can recreate the world right, right at home. home. Oh. Diba, pa, okay. Who comes up with these lines? <laughs> diba, ang galing eh. Syempre, papasalamatan din natin ang napakagaling nating sponsor na X-Split. Yeah, nakita natin mga instant replay sa atin kanya that was powered by XSplit. And of course, this event is brought to you by Valorant PH and Valorant Rising. Rising. Valorant pataas nga naman. At after the break, we'll see some more Valorant goodness. So you guys just stay tuned. Alam mo yun, handa nyo na yung pagkain nyo. Get, grab a drink. Just prepare because you're, you're about to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show right after this break. Mm-hmm. 